are back. Hey, what's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for joining us. Oh my God, season two of Deep Water Deep. Deep, Deep Water Deep. Deep. Oh. We now have more seasons than Firefly. We did it. We beat you, Firefly. Success. You suck. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for joining us tonight. I know you have a lot of options and things that you could be doing with your lives right now, but the fact that you'll come to watch us play some role-playing games on the internet, we really appreciate it. And where um, are we playing from? Where are we playing from? That's a great question, Dan. I'm glad you asked. Thank you. So tonight, <laughs> if you will notice, we are not streaming from the Saving Throw Show Twitch channel. We are streaming from the official Paizo channel. Interesting. And do you know what that means? Paizo is sponsoring this stream. <laughs> Yay! Paizo yeah. has given us money to create content for you. Isn't Paizo an awesome company? Aren't they just great? Hooray! Bunch of menches uh, is what they are. So they're funding all of tw your fuck ups. <laughs> all of yes, exactly. All of your and my murders. It's gonna mm -hmm. be great. You are going to get your money's worth. Uh, Sponsored for murder. Just nonstop errors uh, and bad decisions left and right. So uh, yes, we want to again thank you, thank you, Paizo, for yes. for your support and for creating an awesome game uh, that we have really enjoyed playing. Um, so yes, uh, let's uh, let's go to my introduction list and see what's next on the introduction. Haha, <laughs> okay. Uh, so typically, uh, for those of you who has watched us previously, uh, we would take donations from the chat and that would affect different aspects of the gameplay. There'd be re-rolls, there'd be craziness. I would throw magic items at these people and it just made for really happy players, but um, <laughs> we are not going to do that anymore. <laughs> I want miserable players at my table who have to they have to live with the bad rolls that they make. That you made a bad roll, and that is something that you are going to have to stand by. This is our Empire Strikes Back season. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, so, Stewards Strike Back. Oh. Stewards Strike Back. <laughs> Hashtag the Stewards Strike Back. Mm. So because of the because of the sponsorship from Paizo Publishing, and thank you once again. Uh, we are not we do we do not need to take tips. We don't need your money. Yeah. Save your money for the other shows at uh, at mm. Saving Throw. Support other creators. Uh, uh, buy yourself a pizza. It's delicious. Pizza's good for you. Or the core rulebook for Starfinder. The core rulebook. <laughs> For Starfinder, yeah. <laughs> you've got that already. Alien Archive One, it's pretty good. Um, so, uh, so that is going to mean. What is that going to mean for you? Well, there's going to be less interruptions. Um, there's going to be a more pure rules-focused gameplay because we have always been 100 percent about following the rules and creating a pure no. Not I, don't, I don't think we've ever gotten a rule wrong so far. No, I don't no. think so. No. No. I would defy you. I would Maybe defy you first. watching at home. <laughs> To point out a rule that I got incorrect. Find twenty seven. <laughs> You'd be I wrong. dare you. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So we, we we thank you. We may introduce uh, donations at, at at some point on down the line. Just if if you like the content. Uh, but for right now, we're just gonna we're just gonna play pure Starfinder. It's gonna be pure. Uh, pure role playing, pure fun, and hopefully pure enjoyment for you guys at home. Uh, now, those of you who are fans of the show and watched season one, you may notice that we are missing a player, and unfortunately, Nika Harper uh, has decided not to continue on with season two of the show. We wish her the best. Uh, it was an amicable split. She's a wonderful. Hey, hey, Nika hey, Harper! Hey, Nika, what's up? I was just talking hey, about girl. you. Uh, so yes, hi Nika, uh, and, and yeah, she's 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 a very very busy lady, and she's got a lot of things going on. You can follow her at like, is it Nika Soar? Uh, on Twitter? Yeah. No, I think, no. That's, I think that's only in um, Discord? Discord. That's only in Discord? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, did well, I just... On drop Twitter, if you search Nika Harper. Oh, just dots yeah, Nika. Uh, yeah, find Nika Harper. She's on Twitter. She's uh, she's great. Uh, she's got a lot of writing projects and all, all sorts of fun things uh, coming up. So, hi, Nika. We love you. We miss you. Uh, mm. uh, bless, your, bless your heart. Bless your face. Um, so uh, just let yes. us know in chat who gets your bag of infinite grenades, please. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, so one thing I will say though, uh, just as a nod to the people who did support the show, our players currently have a certain number of re rolls, and Dan was pushing for this very hard. <laughs> so you have Dan to blame. Uh, they no, have some... I thank you because you. This is how you supported us last season. Yes. And we don't want to just cast that aside. Exactly, because we want to. We want to honor you. So so there are going to be some re rolls, but they are going to dwindle to nothing. Uh, as the season goes on. They may even use them on the first episode because these guys are crazy. They're just chucking yeah. re-rolls left and right. <laughs> that's pretty true. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, that's probably be gone. Not, not in that. Alright, so I'm going to be in charge of the re-rolls. Okay. <laughs> Twill the movie! <laughs> uh, so yeah, go, go ahead and distribute it. We, we, we do them with little coins. 
we have individual. some table re-rolls, we have some individual re-rolls, and those will be going on in the show. Now, um, I want to sort of take a second. Uh, uh, those of you who are joining us from the Saving Throw Show, thank you. Uh, it's nice to have you here. Those of you who don't know anything okay. about us, I'm just going to give a little brief synopsis of what Saving Throw is. I, my name is Tyler Rhodes. Uh, I am one of the founders of Saving Throw, along with the gentleman behind the camera over there by the name of Dom Zook. Yeah, Dom! Um, and our friend Ben Dunn. We started Saving Throw in 2014. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> where we did a... Was, it was 2014, right? Wow. That was when we did the, the, the Pathfinder tutorial video things. <laughs> yes. That's 2014. That's when we started, like right? That. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we started. We we made a Pathfinder tutorial video, which is available on our YouTube channel. Um, and as a uh, one of the Kickstarter rewards for that was, hey, we're going to stream some D and D on the internet. Uh, and we did that, and we enjoyed it, and we went. This is kind of uh, yeah, something that we might want to do more of. Uh, so we started up in my garage. Uh, with a show that we called Barky's Brigade, and did, oh, I want to say three seasons of Barky's Brigade. Um, it was, uh, you know, uh, we, we had a lot of fun doing it. We learned a lot of things. Again, those episodes are up on YouTube. It, it's very dimly lit and uh, and and a little bit <laughs> archaic, but, uh, you know, it works. And uh, we moved into a studio. We expanded our show slots, yada, yada, yada. Uh, jump forward to where we are now. Uh, as you can see, um, this is not like a lot of uh, uh, RPG shows that you will see on the internet. Uh, we have people in costumes. Uh, we have this neat little backdrop. We have an actual studio space. I don't um, wear this the whole time. Jordan's not gonna wear that the whole time. <laughs> I, will be, I will be wearing this He's the whole time. He's going to suffocate. <laughs> um, but uh, well, our goal at Saving Throw is, is to kind of bring this production value and it's 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 to bring the face-to-face -face interaction, which personally, I have always uh, uh, preferred that. I mean, I know there there are people who uh, do virtual tabletops and you know do very well and it's, it's, it's very good stuff, but I love looking at people in the face as I crush their dreams. Um, and make them cry. Uh, oh, hi, Dan. <laughs> I'm actually looking at me right now. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, you can see the entire studio in Dan's eyes, if you wish. Wow. Um, uh, it's because I'm a dreamer. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's what Saving Throw is, and, and that's sort of been our focus uh, to just, you know, we, we, we come in costume because we want you to identify who these people are right away. Like, obviously, this is some sort of insane technomancer person. Uh, uh, this, is, this is a crazy soldier of some kind, a sneaky thief, and this is, this is a mystery woman <laughs> with her face covered. <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for joining us for, who, who are uh, unfamiliar uh, with the work that we do who are possibly coming to us just uh, through the different Paizo channels and whatnot. So thank you guys for joining us and we hope you stick around. Uh, I'm going a little bit longer with the intros today just because you know, I want to I get you guys up to speed. It's, it's uh, you know, we want to introduce ourselves uh, if we have this possibility. Now, I said that we are not, um, we are not taking donations. However, however, uh, official Paizo channel is a uh, is a partner channel, so you can subscribe to Official Paizo, subscribe. which I would highly uh, uh, I would highly suggest that you do. Um, something that we do on this show <laughs> is distract the GM. Yeah. You know what? I did about ten minutes. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, there he is. That's a, oh, that's a season wrap on the mask. You didn't know he was going to be that handsome, was he? Uh, so yes, Surprise, Official Paizo is a partner human. channel, and what you can do to show support and love for Paizo is by subscribing to the channel. Um, and as an added benefit to that, if you subscribe to the official channel, I will put your username in our game. This has created a lot of strife for me and a lot of haste. <laughs> and there's some really weird NPCs that I had to deal with in season one. Mm -hmm. uh, for all you people with your deal. weird names. But you know what? It was worth it. Uh, uh, because, you know, it's a futuristic, so really anything can happen. I, I think we had, like... Very Berry Carey is the most common name in the universe. Yes! Yeah, uh, Very Berry Carey is the John of... Innocent Brown Coat. Brown Coat. Innocent Brown Coat. So, so yeah. this, this season we are only doing it for first-time subscribers uh, uh, to uh, the official Paizo <laughs> channel. Um, but, I mean, that's not all you get. You don't just get thrown in the game. You get access to a bunch of really cool emotes. Wow! You get the, you get the Paizo crushy guy. 
right? You get the flaming D20 thing. Um, uh, there's a guy who's got a little heart th th thing that he does. If there are any subscribers out there, maybe show off show off that uh, that sweet uh, that sweet emotes uh, swag. Do you get quirky boys? You don't get quirky. Boys. You gotta, <laughs> That's from saving. You got to subscribe to Saving Throw for that one. Uh, and, and hey, if you want to subscribe right. to Saving Throw, you know, feel free to throw us a subscription. <laughs> well, but, you know, uh, but 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 our focus tonight, and the only way you're going to get into my damn game, uh, is if you subscribe to the at official Paizo Twitch channel. Um, so yes, uh, I'm going to talk briefly about my approach perhaps to Starfinder. Um, and by proxy, this is all of your guys' approach. Um, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we, get a choice. <laughs> we, uh, uh, we are new to this system. Uh, and there's some of us who are, who are, who are new to the game. Um, uh, uh, we do not, not that we're okay. How do I phrase this? What's a good way to put? We're this not following story? the letter of the law. We're not following the letter of the law. We are we following go. the spirit of the law. We are <laughs> trying as hard as we damn can. Um, but but we are not uh, uh, folks who are steeped in uh, various power builds. Um, I, I I can't uh, rattle off uh, rules off the top of my head. That's cosmic crits thing. Patrick is is insane. Um, but uh, it, it, you know if if you like sort of that that deep dive into the rules. Um, um, that's not really what we are all about. We are, are all about the joy and the role playing and the fun. And if rules are getting in the way, um, we're going to kind of push our way through them. And then I will um, get mad at myself later and look up the rule <laughs> and say this will never happen again. There will be tears, anger. I'll tear my hair out. I, I'm not actually bald. This is just how I deal with stress. <laughs> no, I'm bald. Um, <laughs> Uh, so uh, and and as a defense of that uh, on Starfinder Wednesday, if you were you know a, a regular viewer of the uh, official Paizo stream, um, uh, Owen Casey Stevens, who is the lead designer, said that it is okay to ignore rules. Boom. He said that it is okay. He wants you to have fun, and he's like he, he will get mad at you if if a rule is not fun. So so Owen, uh, Mr. Stevens, if you're out there, thank you for justifying uh, my my lack of <laughs> game knowledge. Because everybody knows the first rule is there are no rules. That is and the we ignore rule. that rule and use some rules. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a terrible rule, uh, and it's not fun. So there have to be some rules. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, uh, that's 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 what this is going to be. Uh, we are uh, writers, actors, improvisers, uh, 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 sketch artists. Um, no, you're not a sketch. That's a stupid thing. You don't. I'll take it. it. <laughs> How do you? I, I don't He's know. He's an artist who does sketches. He he does he does oh. sketches on stage. Acting. Sketch um, performer. I, I prefer to be called better. a joke. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an absolute joke. Um, so, so that is that is our uh, uh, main focus, um, and you know, uh, hopefully, you can stick around and enjoy it. And and speaking of these people, I have been talking for like fifteen damn minutes, and I know you want to hear from these lovely people because they are the real stars of this show. Um, and you found I'm, them. I am going to go around, <laughs> and I'm going to ask each person to uh, to introduce themselves. Uh, the character they are playing. Talk a little bit about the character that you're playing more than you normally would, because uh, uh, it's you know it's a season premiere. Um, and uh, I also want to want you to uh, just tell me about your background uh, with role playing with tabletop role playing games. Like how did you get started in tabletop role playing games? And I always start to my right with my right hand man. Who are you and who are you playing tonight, sir? Why, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Jesse Durant. <laughs> And I will be playing Captain William Dean. Boo. Trying to hold this ship together. Like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> God, that's that's shade, shade coming across the table. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, Captain William Dean is a denizen of deep water. He's second generation. His family has been mining, mining forever. Uh, um, a member of the resistance was a second hand man to uh, one of the lieutenants and leaders of the, or a lieutenant in the resistance under the leader of the resistance. Uh, <laughs> He was entrusted with uh, basically the uh, the button to launch a very large weapon against the incoming steward fleet, and buckled under the pressure. I I mean, people say buckled, but I think it's justified. Why more killing, guys? Come on, it wouldn't have solved anything. <laughs> it solved something. <laughs> I think it could have solved something. I stand behind my decision, although I'm conflicted sometimes. That's how I solve most of my problems. Yes, yeah, blowing things up, basically. Yeah. Yeah, blowing thing up. Blowing things up is cool. I blow a lot more things up these days. 
Uh, but yeah, keeping the ship together, keeping the crew uh, devastated by the leaving of by uh, by the leaving of our lovely Kasathan, the Mirariata, Jersey Jade Clan. Bane House Ren. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, she would have loved that. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I did it before. You I, only had five months to learn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so that's, that, that's a bummer. Other mm -hmm. than that, uh, now it's time to kind of find our center again and do the best we can. Now, now stuff's really coming for deep water because it's the only place where you can find the drift stones. Yeah. So in the crosshairs of the entire galaxy, presumably. So <clears throat> it's about to get tougher. Spice must flow. Spice yeah. must flow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, good. Thank you. And, and what is your character's class? Uh, I am a cross class, actually. Um, I am an operative level four and a Solarian level two. So operative is basically like your uh, your sneaky roguish type. Um, I like to do sleight of hand sorts of tricks and uh, trick shooting, that sort of thing. Uh, as well as many acrobatic type of maneuvers. And then uh, <laughs> many foolish, foolish, foolish maneuvers. Attempt. Yeah, attempt. 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 Uh, I did melt a dinosaur from its own back. <laughs> that was but pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I, that's true. That was a lot of Some fun. Oh, I hate exciting. dinosaurs. And uh, <laughs> and real quick, Jesse, what is what is your what is your background with uh, tabletop RPGs? So when did you, when did you start uh, uh, playing? How old were you? I started back. Did in you the like day. it? Yeah. Oh, back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. Damn, I started, like, probably, I didn't realize you lived in the day. Probably, yeah, I, li <laughs> I lived in the day. That's I was amazing. there for a little bit. Yeah, good. Um, I started in probably junior high. And I was, I do like, I do full contact armor fighting now, and like, I was into all the cool nerd stuff. So yeah, like, and not it's, LARPing. It's just, uh, this is not LARPing. It's not LARPing, it's different. But yeah. I would LARP given the opportunity. <laughs> you love LARPers. You're yeah. like, look, I don't LARP, but it's not because I wouldn't LARP. <laughs> <laughs> That's an important distinction to make. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. So, so uh, yeah, I started in junior high, and it's a, it's a wrap since then. Multiple campaigns I played GURPS. Uh, what's the the GURPS. werewolf one? Yeah, GURPS, generic universe role playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We played uh, that. Oh played, yeah. Played Aberrant, which was like a basically a mutant one. Damn. Bunch of different games, and I've even gone so far as uh, sometimes in my less proud, desperate to play moments, played like basically just DM and one character. No. Oh. When you're when you're down to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's basically just like this is the best we can do, man. <laughs> like just between the two of you just bounce ninety's off each other. Yeah, so you're fixed. Cool. Yeah, yeah. you're fixed sometimes. You know? Gotta level up. Uh, level. Just a little one, yeah. Gotta roll them bones. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. Thank you for joining us uh, uh, tonight, and thank you for being the wonderful captain that you have been Always uh, thus far. <laughs> so uh, glad to be back. <laughs> All right, let's Sorry. continue. <laughs> let's continue on to uh, uh, my right here, on to this gentleman here. Who are you, and who are you playing tonight? Hi, my name is Jordan Pridgen. I'm having a harder time keeping this on my head than I normally do. But, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll figure it out as the night goes on. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, and my char the character I'm playing is a Vesk soldier named Nova Novavabek, um, who just goes by Beck most of the time. Uh, and Beck was basically part of a, a somewhat rural clan of Vesk who um, lived very strongly by the belief that this life is like, uh, this world is a kind of crappy transitional world where you're just proving, like in a Viking style, like you're just proving that you're worthwhile here. So the goal of his entire clan is to die honorably. Like you gotta die in battle fighting things. And one day when uh, Beck was off uh, doing chores, like gathering wood or hunting or something Some like that, that. Mushrooms. his entire clan was attacked by a neighboring clan and everyone died and Beck was sad because he missed the boat. Um, so <laughs> Be yeah, Beck's view on death is that it's a very positive thing and it's like yes that's that's what you want you want to get there. Um, so he uh, left and went off through the galaxy trying to get dangerous jobs like do mercenary work and he found a crew of people who were flying through the sky on a bucket and making big enemies and, and not making smart choices about it and thought, this is what I want to be part of. This I'll die in like a minute with these guys. <laughs> and, and has developed a, a pretty strong loyalty to the crew of the Garnet Laser, Laser Brass Death and uh, specifically Captain Will uh, because he's, he's a very lo loyal guy. Um, so that's Beck. He's a big lizard. 
Yeah. Um, big dangerous lizard. Big dangerous lizard. Murderous lizard. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, him. Nice. And I started. I started playing. Uh, I started playing role playing games with uh, second edition Dungeons and Dragons in mm. middle school. Um, because oh my friend's brother left for college and left all his books, and then my friend was like, "Hey, we should play this game." And we, we played what I thought was second edition Dungeons and Dragons, but was actually mostly my friend making it up. <laughs> and then when I finally <laughs> that. when I finally sat down and read all the rules, I was like, "You liar!" <laughs> uh, not, not exactly the most user friendly system either. Second no, edition it was Dungeons very and Dragons. confusing. <laughs> Thacko. Mm. Yeah, Thacko. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> but uh, yep, uh, since then I've I've played lots of RPGs. I've kept playing them. I'm part of uh, some of the other saving throw streams. Our Friday night. Night stream uh, Wild Cards, which was a Western show, and it's now going to be a college horror show. Yeah. <laughs> Things change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. It's very good. Well, thank you for joining us, uh, uh, Jordan. Happy to be here. For, for your light and your humor and just your good looks. Namaste. My God. Namaste. Thank you. Make me look like a turd. Uh, <laughs> yeah, both of you guys are really good looking. I mean, you guys are also incredible Boom. looking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't belong here. Damn. It's a good looking sandwich. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> That's why they put me up in the corner over this in this direction. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Check that out. This guy's. Okay. Uh, so, sorry. Let's continue all the way around the table. Oh. And we are going to go to this Wonderful. Individual here. Who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ravity Domse. Um, I am playing Mira Riata Jirsu Jade of Clan Ren, House Bane, seventh in the line of Durell. And uh, she. <laughs> she got <laughs> It's right. a great name. I don't know. It's been five months and I remember it. I just like, I just start talking and it just like comes out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, thank God. It's muscle memory. Um, so she's a Kasatha and Solarian. She. Uh, was raised as a priest, actually. Um, so the Solarian mentality is like very important to her. She was raised in one of the Solarian temples, and she had a mentor. And uh, you know, she she was brought into the belief that uh, you do the right thing, and uh, the there, there's this yin and yang to the universe. There's creation and there's destruction, and you just gotta embrace both. Um, she joined the stewards at a young age because that's what her mentor did as well. And uh, she was brought to Deepwater uh, for this rebellion. Um, and she kind of got like knee deep in it. Um, and she got she got deep in deep water. Um, <laughs> that's what you do. That's you can't not get deep. You can't no not get deep. Yeah. Uh, so she, yeah, she, she really found herself in the midst of this rebellion and really found herself like falling for these people and um, considered herself before long like part of deep water. Like, <laughs> For once, like, she'd always been part of these temples and, like, always moving across the galaxies. So finding this home was, like, very big for her. Um, and, yeah, her her main drive is really protecting this planet that she has come to call home. Uh, but, uh, you know, William Dean kind of fucked things up. You know, she, she uh, uh, <laughs> became aware of this rebellion, uh, became aware of, like, the leading figures, and... Uh, saw that one of the leading figures was William Dean, and uh, she thinks he's kind of incompetent. He failed to push the button, he failed to do what was necessary, mm -hmm. and uh, she thinks the Garland Laser Brash Death kind of fucks around a lot, and when they should be saving the planet. <laughs> and so she's a little harsh. Uh, she's kind of trigger happy. Um, a little bit of a murder machine. Um, you shot a fact, leprechaun. <laughs> in fact, she may or may not have been uh, discharged from the stewards for, at one point in time for being too trigger happy. Uh, in fact, that's why she decided to continue on with the rebellion instead. And uh, so when she joined our team here, uh, she refused to... You know, she, she she forgot to mention the part where she was like, hey, you used to be part of the stewards, and then I got let go because I was super trigger happy. And so, uh, you know, that, that, that has kind of fostered some distrust once the team found out. And, um, yeah, she, at the season finale, because I thought well, we weren't continuing. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the season finale, she jumped off the ship and said she was going back with the stewards because... Garnet Laser Brash Death fucks around too much and she needs to save this planet and she thinks what she thinks the uh, stewards are doing. So that's where she's from. Um, she's, she's, uh, like, she feels a little, okay, so Will is like, 
her Jedi Padawan. Mm-hmm. Twilium is her son, and Naval Babek is her murder buddy. So <laughs> yeah. murder that's, buddy. That's kind murder of the buddies. dynamic she's got going on there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. I don't know anything else. Uh, no, that was that was that was great. Okay, great. Um, and what about uh, what about you as a tabletop role playing uh, game player? So actually, uh, been only doing about it for about a year. Um, before that, I was more in like uh, the Tumblr RPG space. Um, I see that like a lot of women gravitate to that space because we like it. Like Tumblr are like uh, just regular RPGing can feel a little intimidating for some women because it feels sometimes like a male dominated space. So we like gravitate to this like online forum where we like meet like literally. I'd be in groups of like thirty girls who'd be like, "We like to play games, but we don't know how," and like we're kind of scared to ask anyone. Um, so that's that's where I started off, just like doing a bunch of like little games with uh, the people I would meet online, and then um, ended up making a bunch of friends who did tabletop RPGing. So did. Uh, you know, found found my way to saving throw. I'm on tempting fate now, um, which is very different tonally to this game, and I love <laughs> it. But I also love this game with all my heart. Um, and yeah, it's it's so like really getting back into it. So you'll see me asking a lot about rules. So hopefully, if you're new out there too, um, I will encourage you to just be like, hey, what is going on here right yeah. now? Yeah, and, and and we'll try our damnedest to explain uh, the rules as we look them up. We do know a lot of rules, um, but uh, you know, we're 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 still learning and. Uh, you can learn along with us. And knowledge uh, is power. Yeah, and knowledge yeah. is power, and that's half the battle. Um, <laughs> so thank you, yeah. uh, Ravity. It is a pleasure to have you here, as always. Yeah. Uh, glad to have you back here. For Get ready you. for me to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun. Okay, and then last, but certainly, certainly, certainly not least, I would argue most, honestly. I wouldn't. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> the last and most. Uh, uh, who is this gentleman here, and who are you playing tonight? Hi. Underneath all of this, uh, I am Dan Peck. Uh, I am playing Twill, who is a teenage android technomancer. I just the syllable count is so perfect. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. Yeah. Uh, they are a uh, gender neutral uh, android uh, who is a former uh, pro vid gamer slash streamer and uh, experienced a great amount of success in the packed world. Was a very well known celebrity and just one day got tired of it just playing video games just offered no real thrill anymore so they gave away all their money and hopped on the first ship off of absalom station and found themselves in the middle of a rebellion on deep water uh joined up with uh the rebellion met uh captain will uh, and sort of been tagging along ever since just buddy buddy and uh yeah they're uh they do uh use they them pronouns um, and yeah, very, very loyal to, uh, not only their adopted home, but their teammates, even when said <laughs> teammates are traitors. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so they for the first time, uh, they are genuinely conflicted because this is like, you know, they were looking for a real world and doesn't get any realer than this. Uh, <laughs> real world deep water. Yeah. I'm going to take some of this off because it is quite warm in here. Yeah. 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 yeah oh, hi. Look, oh my god, it is Dan. You were like, <laughs> I am Dan. Yeah. Under all of this. And I was like, it's you know, Dan. you weren't Dan. That's Ooh. exactly what you would say. Aslanti. <laughs> Still warm. Yep. <laughs> all right. Well, cool. Awesome. Uh, and and what was what was your uh, first experience with uh, the tabletop role playing? Um, so I'm also relatively new. I've only been at it about two and a half years. Um, it was always like, dare I say, that nerdy line that should not be crossed until I decided... To hell with it! I'm taking the plunge. And, uh, here we are two years later. Here we are two years later, sitting in full costume. Uh, you know, with like a podcast. With, like, yeah, 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 and uh, and I run my own homebrew Starfinder game, and uh, you just took the listen, dive, man. Yeah, it's awesome. just you know, there's, if 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 all this nonsense is going through my head, it's got to go through everyone else's too. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I. Uh, I, I'm hooked. I, I started with D and D because I figured it would be the most accessible, and yeah, there's been a lot since then. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the long and the short of it. Cool. All right. Well, thank you, Dan. Thank, thank you for joining you. us. Dan is our, um, I, I don't want to call him our resident rules expert. Um, he is probably the most knowledgeable one. Since I'm he the resident guy who actually read the book. Yes, he read the book. <laughs> I read the damn book, too. Uh, I did once. <laughs> uh, uh, but and it's very good. Um, so uh, so yes. But between the two of us, usually we can we can troubleshoot most issues that are going to come up during the stream. Uh, yeah, I know, right? What issues? Mm-hmm. We never have issues during the stream. Mm-hmm. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. 
available on no. Paizo.com. <laughs> okay. Such good books. It is good. <laughs> Mine's unreadable. Um, so thank you uh, uh, once again, and uh, I'll uh, talk briefly about my background. I uh, my father. Uh, picked up the basic rules of Dungeons and Dragons uh, from uh, my cousins on the East Coast, and brought it back to uh, brought it back to his home and played with his family before I was born. So I was essentially born into a tabletop role playing game family. Um, I didn't actually get to play until I was thirteen, and that drove me freaking nuts. <laughs> uh, I just had to like every Friday, uh, my Not brothers, until my two it. older yeah. brothers, their friends would come over. They all go in the back room they shut the door sometimes I'd like sneak under the table and just kind of like listen and be around it but I was not allowed to play I was allowed I had to sit on the bed quietly and watch uh, uh, and who watches so role playing sweet. games so weird. Uh, um, like Harry sweet. Potter. I so, yeah. I yeah. So yeah, and, and I, I had to prove to them that I was mature enough uh, to be able to handle uh, 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 playing a tabletop role playing game. And finally, they brought me in on a Dragonlance campaign, and it was the greatest moment. And I have not stopped since doing that. So, um, so that's kind of my uh, my background. Uh, uh, born into it, and and uh, really enjoy uh, all, all the aspects of it. Um, so yeah. Uh, while we were doing the character introductions, people were sort of talking a bit about uh, the first season. Uh, and, and it's very sort of uh, hard to get, gonna be hard to patch together. I'll give you guys the briefest, briefest, briefest update. Uh, if you want a slightly longer brief update, uh, check out our YouTube channel. Uh, I posted a video that has a season one recap. Um, uh, you can go over there and, and take a look at it, and then it'll get you totally up to speed on all the stuff that has happened so far. Um, uh, but uh, 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 real quick, uh, this is the, the crew of the Garnet Laser Brash Death. It is a, a mercenary crew captained by uh, Captain Will Dean. Um, they uh, have gone on several different adventures. Captain Will Dean was involved in a rebellion uh, on this planet called Deepwater Deep. Um, uh, deep water prime. Yeah. Deep water. Sorry. Right. Deep water. Deep water deep. Deep water is, deep is just what we are. Deep water <laughs> deep is the <laughs> slogan. Deep water prime is the name of the planet. Um, so there was a uh, there there was a rebellion that Will was involved in uh, against these uh, the police force known as the Stewards. Uh, uh, they won the rebellion and then they lost the rebellion when the Stewards came back. Will didn't fire the shots uh, and then they <laughs> left and did mercenary things for a couple of years, gained a couple of levels. What's that? Why are you shaking your head, Dom? No. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Dom is displeased. Oh, Dom is you. displeased. Oh my god! It's yeah, okay. it's hard being right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> History will judge. Yeah. History will judge oh, okay, me. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so they went out. They had many adventures. They gained a couple of levels. They uh, had some ex experience. They found Nobaba back, um, and then they came back to deep water. They found this. Where we get back to deep water. Uh, there was a mining vessel that had gone missing. They went and found the mining vessel. Um, the crew turned into zombies uh, by a really bad guy. They killed the bad guy, brought the mining vessel back to deep water, uh, uh, lost the salvage rights to the mining vessel because there was a survivor. Um, salvage rights passed to the survivor. Uh, survivor ended up being murdered and so they went to track down the survivor's assassin. Uh, and they went we to... Still, we, we still have her yeah, body. Have... She is currently frozen <laughs> in... <laughs> Right? Yes. She's yes. in the med bay under She's yeah, in the med bay form of cryo freeze. Uh, we swear we did not fridge her. I know, we I know. Swear. That was the first thing I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was like, buddy. Damn it. first thing I said when I came back was like, did you fridge Terrible. her? Terrible. I mean, it wasn't my decision. We definitely also keep some food in the cryo <laughs> Yes. I, I mean, it's just the best place for it. And if you, you want keep, a really cold beverage. You just gotta make sure you level them correctly. <laughs> so, so they went about to find uh, her estate. Assassin, um, and uh, it's personal. It's personal. Uh, yes, it was. It was personal. Uh, Will was seeing. Just uh, kind of having fun. No, putting the captain on blast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a good time. Um, uh, Thanks for all. So, um, uh, so they got. Uh, they uh, received a. Uh, the 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 assassin was a drow. Uh, female, and so they went to the drow people that uh, lived in town and uh, had to go to a cave. They found the guy who was uh, who, who had turned all those people into zombies on the mining ship. Uh, he had somehow made his way to deep water uh, again, Tenacious. and they, they he, he turned more people into zombies. The drow he turned into zombies, <laughs> and then they killed him again. Um, 
and it turns out he was a famous admiral, and uh, he was the one person who was able to defeat this group called the uh, Aslanti Empire. And if you guys are watching from Paizo, you may know that there was a, a adventure path released called Against the Aeon Throne. Is that what it was called? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, which sort of expanded on um, the Aslanti Empire. When I did this campaign, that didn't exist. So that lore is dead to me. I am going to ignore <laughs> all of the lore that came out of Against the Aeon Throne because I already made up my mind what they were. Um, and that's another thing. He said on the official channel. I know, right? <laughs> no, it's really good. No, 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 don't get me wrong. They wrote a damn good, and I own it, and I've read it. I've read some of it. Um, and it, it, is, it is very well done, and God bless those people who did that. Um, but, but this is my reality. And my reality is based on the core I'm rule book, that one page on the core rule book. We're into the Starfinder verse. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, that's, that's another thing I will warn you. In addition to being a little bit uh, rules light, uh, not rules light, uh, rules hazy, uh, I, I am occasionally uh, uh, lore hazy. Uh, Deepwater Prime is a real planet, um, but it's called Deepwater because it is covered with water. Um, I decided to make it a desert planet because I don't know how to read. <laughs> Because the um, person who named it was like, you know it would be ironic. <laughs> that was my idea. It's I was like, it's, it's Iceland. It's Iceland. It's, yeah, exactly. It's Greenland. Yep. It's, it's, you know, that's the kind of the thing. We won't be able to come here. Um, so, yeah, that was, oh, my God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, things are happening. Look to my left here. Uh, so, anyway, uh, uh, so uh, Aslanti Empire is potentially invading Deepwater Deep. Why do they, what, Deepwater Prime, why do they want to invade Deepwater Prime? Well, as it turns out, and this is also not lore, but it's my lore. Um, <laughs> Deepwater Prime is the one source in the galaxy of what are called drift stones. Drift stones are the pieces that allow a ship to go into the drifts, which is how they do um, uh, faster than light travel. Um, so supposedly these drift stones are priceless, um, and 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 nobody, uh, you know, the. the they're, they're very rare and, you know, they're uh, uh, mysterious origins. Well, it turns out they're all coming from deep water. And the Islani are coming to invade deep water. And Viceroy Bathard was going to be the one person who could defend against it because he is the one person uh, who had defeated an Aslanti fleet in his lifetime. Okay, but he was a famous admiral, right? Yeah. And we killed him, yeah. so by rights of conquest, we now we're famous admirals. Yeah, we're the best admirals. I, Transitive property. Yeah. Yes. I am the admiral now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we have we have new famous admirals. Uh, uh, so so yeah, they they killed uh, Bathard uh, twice. twice. They destroyed the little container into which he fled, which is called his Electrocephalon. Um, the stewards found out about this, found out that he was dead, and they went, "Oh my God, we're screwed." Because uh, the Atlanti are coming. Um, and that is what uh, I, I think we are totally up to speed at that yeah. point. That's just sort of the overall. And just the view. prophecy. Yeah, the locals oh, had a prophecy. Oh, I forgot about the prophecy. Because yeah. that was where the three of us left. <laughs> yes, okay. So while they were leaving, uh, after having killed Viceroy Bathard, they were leaving a cave. And uh, there was a little rock type person uh, who made a movement. And as you know, <laughs> The first thing you do when you see movement is, is you Strike. try to cut it in half. Strike it. So Mira swung her blade and killed this little demon <laughs> uh, that turned out to be uh, uh, a friendly little uh, <laughs> mythological leprechaun. Think, think like the Keebler elves or yeah. like something else fun. Uh -huh. Just <laughs> a friendly <laughs> little... Danger, <laughs> <laughs> and so, she critted on it. <laughs> yeah, she, she rolled wow. a 20. Hell of a roll. Uh, and uh, it's, so uh, they managed to, to revive uh, that the poor creature with a name. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and it was recognized <laughs> as a uh, it's a deep one uh, which are this sort of people in deep water there's like stories about them you know like you know they're leprechauns or fairies you know there's these things that kind of exist but this is an actual one uh, he had uh, no it was a she actually um, uh, had a uh, prophecy that. Uh, described the crew of the Garnet Laser that Brash Death perfectly. And she said, you guys need to come with us um, to fulfill this prophecy. And the crew went, oh, in a little bit. We have something we gotta do first. BRB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they went out and did the thing, they ch chased down the assassin, returned the body, you know, blew up an office building, so on and so forth. But... Mm -hmm. 
He um, almost also blew up the cave system that he lived in for yeah. some reason. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, that was Make very strange. Um, yeah, <laughs> decided to blow that up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, and uh, 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 so yeah, then um, uh, uh, came back, uh, and as they were returning uh, to the uh, the place where they met the Deep One, uh, Mira. Uh, who referenced this earlier, decided to just ditch the crew. Okay, and no, I go didn't back decide to, the to ditch the crew. I okay. said, hey, there's more important things that need to be done here than fuck around with some prophecy. Uh, let's mm. try to save the planet, maybe? Mm. They're like, no, we want to go do the prophecy thing. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go with the cops. <laughs> <laughs> right, you the guys right. with the big spaceships. Yeah, over... I'm go with the guys with the big spaceships who have been up till this point, like, Hey, we want to save this planet. Right. And, uh, I feel like it's always been I feel like historically ignoring prophecies turns out pretty well. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's <laughs> how it works. You ignore the prophecy is just part of the prophecy. Yeah. Uh, and so yeah, you can see the full prophecy uh, on on uh, the video on the YouTube page. Um, uh, and uh, again, it's it's a it's a nice little recap if you guys you know once once the stream is over and you want to take a look at it. Um, I, nice little. I'm complimenting myself. God, I did a really good job. That. <laughs> I wrote a great you prophecy. did, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> it's good poetry. Um, so, uh, so good yes. Clips, so, what rhymes. we have right now is we have Mira, who is thrown in her hands with the stewards, who have the big scary ships. They have the guns, and we have the rest of the crew, uh, <laughs> including uh, 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 Nika's character Zylatol, um, uh, who have decided to fulfill the prophecy. <laughs> Uh, with the guy who got immediately cut in half, uh, just just uh, in his first little combat. Uh, certainly, As the prophecy foretold. <laughs> <laughs> certainly <laughs> seems. I should have read it more carefully. Those are the guys that you want to get behind. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, real quick before we get started, thank you guys so much for your subs. Holy crap! Thank you. Wow, That's I'm glad. Funny. I'm glad I wrote a lot of NPCs down because you guys are really. Uh, <laughs> Really coming through here, so thank you. Uh, uh, quick to Emperor Riptide, Castles and Chemo, Innocent Brown Coat, some Red Shirt, Lady uh, Imago, Cheese Bodo, uh, Harkle, Pika Mika, Shoveler Forty Two Eleven, uh, DJ Regular, Az Az who Azmael Azmael A E S M A E L, the Jersey Driver. That one's nice and easy. And then finally, <laughs> Meth Orc. <laughs> Matt nice. Orc, I have an NPC for you, my friend. You <laughs> stick around. Fork. Oh my god, I think I know who Meth Orc is going to be. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Okay, cool. Um, so thank you guys uh, for subscribing. Thank you for your support again. Thanks, you guys. are. I have. This is my. This is my NPC list. I have like you know this many people. So hooray! <sighs> Hopefully, I can get you guys all spot. Oh shit, Dom, I need those back though. I haven't written them all down. They're there. Oh. Oh, okay. Hooray! <laughs> oh, and uh, everything worked out. And Shimkison, Shimkison, thank you very much. Hey. Did I say Shimkison? Oh God, Shimkison! I've been saying your name wrong probably <laughs> since we met at Gen Con, so I apologize. <laughs> Shimkison. That's uh, actually that sounds a lot better. Uh, okay, so thank you guys. And uh, last uh, thing on my intro agenda is get to playing. God damn it! Yeah! Ah, thank you guys. I know this this was longer than we typically do. We we don't like to do huge long intros, but I thought uh, a season opener. So you guys deserve uh, <laughs> to know you who just the camera with it. Who <laughs> the damn hell we are. <laughs> so uh, let us pick up our action. <laughs> On the outskirts <laughs> of Red Rock Canyon, on the planet of Deepwater Prime, in the Debori Cluster, far out in the vast on the fringes of the universe. There is an old rusty spaceship called the Garnet Laser Brash Death, which you may see here. Do we have a table cam type thing? Okay, yeah. This is the Garnet Laser Brash Death. Um, as you can see, I tend to use Legos a lot. Uh, sorry, Lego. Uh, during uh, during my games. And so this was the ship that I constructed. And it's a pretty good representation of just the little rust bucket that these people have decided to inhabit. Um, the Garnet Laser Brash Death is lifting off into space. There is a ramp closing. There are a bunch of steward forces standing behind boulders, uh, some of them bleeding pretty heavily, uh, uh, looking up, shielding their eyes as dust blows around them and the, and the Garnet Laser Brash Death lifts off. And then, to their surprise, a lone figure jumps off of the ramp and lands Iron Man style and stands back up. 
But with more arms. But with more <laughs> arms. So four yeah, arms. Exactly. I, I don't know where all the <laughs> arms go. There's the yeah, creative. Each of them. Yeah, two of them forward or one forward, one back. I don't know. Uh, use your imagination. Haven't been figured out yet. Yeah, uh, uh, it lands and uh, you see a very confused captain scratching his head, also standing on the ramp. A uh, you know uh, the ramp shuts on, and, and his eyes are the last thing uh, that he sees is Mira lands on the ground next to Darian. Tossed you. Oh yes, okay. and she tosses tosses him the. Uh, Mask? Uh, her the, mask. The, the old mask that I've been using yep. since back in the day. Exactly. The day. Uh, that they had exchanged. And so, um, <coughs> Darian looks perplexed. I think this person was just trying to kill me uh, uh, not two minutes ago. Let's go save the fucking world. Uh, that, yeah, that's, that's the plan. <coughs> um, yeah. I mean, I sure hope it is because I just jumped off that ship for because of it. <coughs> right. Uh, uh what, what are what are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? I think the idea here is to save this planet. The garlic laser brush that fucks around a little too much for me, you know? Like, yeah, it's, it's there is something coming towards us, and we need to defend this planet against it. And you have the ships to do it. Right, right. I'll I'll be honest with you, Lieutenant. I, I'm a little concerned about where your loyalties lie here. Um, was jumping off the ship not enough? It was interesting. Um, <laughs> it was a bold move. Uh, uh, we are going to have to talk about your future with this. That's fine. I feel like we are wasting time right now. And there's one thing I cannot stand. It is us wasting time. All right, well, um, let's uh, head back into town then. Let's do it. <sighs> okay. Lead uh, the way, Darian. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, Darian and uh, his three uh, three soldiers that he has with him, uh, they all uh, head back to their uh, to their armored personnel carry, mm -hmm. carrier and, and, and get back in. Uh, Darian takes a seat behind the, uh, behind the driver's seat, and uh, you have the three men in back who start kind of attending to their wounds and grumbling and being like, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Awkward. You, yeah. you, you actually kind of slashed one of these guys, I think, in that final combat. Yeah, right? I yeah. Did, but I'm not going to bring that up. Right <laughs> it's now. a little bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. He was just facing you in Mortal Kombat. So, and now they know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, he's... Actually, I look at that one and be like, huh, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, and and so uh, as as they are driving back, uh, uh, Darian gets on the blower uh, with his uh, commanding officer, a uh, man by the name of uh, Major Firepad Lily, um, and he relays the fact that the viceroy is not alive anymore, and that the electrocephalon has been destroyed. Mm -hmm. um, there is a long kind of silence. Major Firepad Lily says, so I'm going to need to run this up the chain, but <coughs> you understand, bless you, that this is... Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a soldier. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> I was in-game sneezing. You understand that this is um, crippling to our cause here. Yes, sir, I, I understand. I had your assurance that you had your best people working on this. I, I know, sir, but there will be consequences. Yeah, yeah I, I understand. And uh, the line goes dead, and Darian starts kind of sweating bullets. This hey, is... without Bathar, who's in charge? Um, uh, it's probably uh, uh, going to be... Uh, you look at, you're looking pretty nervous. What's going on? It's going to be... Uh, uh, hey, look at me in the eye when I talk to you. I I, I don't know the name of, of, of the fleet admiral. I, I mean, I, I know we have um, uh, we, we have uh, an admiral in, in, in charge of the fleet, but uh, he's, he's actually on loan. Uh, uh, well, not on loan, but, but he's... he's but he's uh, going to get here, right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 a, he's a very, very good because... uh, leader. We need someone to lead this charge. No, they will. They will. They absolutely will. He's uh, he graduated first in his class. He's he's been an admiral for great. For so decades. when can we expect him? He's you know honestly like the fleet, they're they're undergoing repairs right now. 
uh, in the packed worlds. Uh, they just need to kind of. Why you do you know, look so nervous? It, it, it's it's this is bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is really bad. This is we needed this win, uh, and then the the line starts buzzing again, and it's Major Firepad Lily, <clears throat> and staring. <sighs> Punches it. It's like, sir, and Major Firepad Lily says. Shit, I should have circled this. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Major Firepad Lily says, we need to initiate Operation Palioxis. And then Darian goes, yes, sir. What is what is that? We're abandoning the planet. What? We're abandoning the planet. <laughs> that bullshit. Yeah. Call them back and tell them that's not what's happening. I'm a, I'm a captain. I know. He's a major. I, I don't fucking care. This is the right thing to do. Why is it so hard for people on this fucking planet to do the right thing? You're a lieutenant. and I'm a liaison. <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> and I can see you're very upset. I am extremely upset. You can't just abandon the planet. Is this true? Is that what this means? Is that what's going to happen? Yes. We are going to carry as many drift stones as we can, um, load up our transport ships, you are literally hope that this no lasts us, stones. <laughs> prepare to um, invade the planet um, once the Islanti have let their guard down, but we cannot stand what against is the an driving, Islanti invasion. What was the driving mechanism of the ship look like? Uh, oh, oh the, the APC that they're in? Yeah, like, um, yeah, like it, he's got like, like He's got like a little wheel. It's like a small wheel. Where, where, uh, does it's like thing this thing have like a brake? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you start pulling on levers. I'm going to start pulling on levers. <laughs> Lieutenant, stop, stop, stop. Can you, can you guys stop her, please? Uh, yes, sir. What do you want? Use your words. <laughs> Literally, for I once. will end you. Okay. Um, for, I am using my fucking words. Listen to me. What do you want me to do? I want you to tell them that we need to protect this planet. That you do you can't think I have that them. authority? I think you are a coward for not trying. Because the Garnet Laser Brash Death might fuck up a lot, but at least they understand that. This is not my decision. I am in the military. I answer to my superior officers. Yeah, fuck that. Because obviously I don't do that. Obviously you don't. Jesus. We need uh, to end I this need relationship. A, I, I'm, uh, can I, how do I, is this thing still moving? Can I jump off this shit? <laughs> you can ask me to stop. Did, he, did you stop? I can. Would you like me to stop, Lieutenant? Oh, so now you're going to listen to me. Yes. But you're not going to listen to me when I ask you to fucking call in the call. To uh, undermine my superior okay, yeah. officer? Stop no. the car. I'm getting off. He jams on the bricks. Yeah. He's oh. crumpy. Excuse me? I did not say that out loud, did I? I did. I did. What did you say? Nothing. I'm leaving. Abandon this planet. And I hope you can live with being a coward. <laughs> a living coward. Get out. I'm out. I'm already out. She can just not hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, two vehicles okay. in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. You will jump out of anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you haven't quite made it into town. Uh, you're about a mile outside of town. Um, uh, thank you, Vampire54, for mm. your sub. Thank Vampire you. Vampire54. Vampire Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Um, so scroll up. Oh, wait. What happened here? Oh, we do. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, so... Uh, Apologies. Uh, we are going to uh, uh, bring it down from from a from yeah. a R rating to a PG thirteen. Gotta gotta gotta, oh, gotta, okay. gotta 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 Yes, that's me. That's all uh, me. So yeah. th th exactly, yeah. that is all. That is all Ravity's fault. Potty <laughs> mouth. Um, okay. So uh, uh, APC uh, uh, grinds to a halt. Uh, you I are jump you jump out. Yeah. And it pulls away. It doesn't quite have enough torque to kick up dust. Uh, because it's a military vehicle, so it just kind of rolls slowly. But you know he's jamming on that gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. wanted I'm, it to I'm, be dramatic. I'm, honestly, like, I wait till it goes, and then I kind of just, like, walk. Like, I know that going back right now is kind of a bad luck, and I have to do it. But I'm just going to have a moment to, like, kick some rocks and be like, oh, I can't believe I just have to go back and be like, I'm back again. Uh, they're abandoning you again. I'm back. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, yeah, she kind of just like throws a rock in the air, shoots it, like kicks at some dirt, and then like makes her way okay. back. Yeah, you're gonna need to find uh, uh, some kind of transportation, which I'm sure you can. Yes, uh, so we're we're near town, right? Uh, yeah, you can arrange yeah. in town. You can actually probably go over to Drow Town and they. Yeah, to, Drow Town uh, likes me. I would like to go over to Drow Town. Yes. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you you head to Drow Town. Uh, you find uh, Innocent Brown Coat, who is the <gasps> the Drow matriarch, and she she's like. Oh. To what do I owe this honor? Yeah. Is there something that I can do for you? Yeah, uh, I know you've helped us a lot in the past, um, and I hate to come to you again with another request, but I really need just anything that will get me from point A to point B right now. Um, how, how do you mean? Uh, just just a vehicle of any sort. Oh, yes, yeah, a literally. Uh, like it does not need to be fancy. Like as long as it can just. <coughs> Hold me and all these arms. That's that's all I need. You have done for us a great service in the past, so I am happy to return the favor. Thank you. Um, Let me uh, uh, allow me to put it on William <laughs> Jean's tab. <laughs> <laughs> allow me to um, introduce you to uh, uh, my driver. His name is Cheese Boto. Cheese Cheese Boto. Cheese Boto. Che- am I saying that right? Cheese Boto? Cheese Boto. Cheese, cheese Boto. Boto comes up. He's like, cheese bo- Hi, Cheese Boto. I'm Cheese Boto. Oh, Cheese Boto. <laughs> <laughs> I drive the fastest car in Red Rock Canyon. That's, it's well, I can get you where you're going super fast. Great. <laughs> you seem like a really charming thing. Is he drow <laughs> as well? Boto. Yeah, drow. Cheese Boto's drow. Oh, he's drow. He's, he's, he's drow. He's got... Uh, the voice, he's, I was like, <laughs> He's not at? native to deep water, so he doesn't have that sexy uh, Romanian accent. He's... Mm. Oh, boy. But he, he loves he working on the cars. the cheese boat? <laughs> yes. Cheese Hop boat. in the cheese boat. <laughs> oh, buds. Uh, do you have the, you have the Space Uber app? Uh, do I have the Space Uber sure. app? Maybe I should have downloaded that. I mean, do you hey, think Mira can use that kind of technology? Absolutely. Don't not. worry, we're gonna get you there, lickety split. Let's uh, so Cheese Boto Let's takes you play over. Some music or something. He's got. <laughs> he's got a decked out hot rod. Oh wow! Okay. And he's like, he's like, okay. yeah, I have a seat. You're gonna probably want to buckle in because this is gonna be a fast ride. I, I imagine she's probably not going to buckle in. Duh. That would make it harder to jump out. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, Chiboto gives yeah, you one I of just, these. I just, I just, I just, I climb in and I turn on the tunes and I just let's get there fast. You lack music. I love music. <laughs> Chiboto lacks music too. Uh, what kind of music do you like, Mister Cheese? Photo? Flarth. Flarth? You never heard Flarth music? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Turns it. <laughs> pops in a uh, pops in a data disc. You're gonna hear some Flarth music, and you are gonna love it. You haven't listened to Flarth unless you listen on Laserdisc. Weird. <laughs> uh, so you guys go s- scooting off. Yeah, we go scooting off. Cut two. The Garnet Laser Brash Death. Mm. Uh, uh, hovering up above Viceroy Bathard's. Uh, Tomb, I guess you would call it, his cave, could also be the entrance to a great adventure. Um, so uh, the uh, Garnelies of Rashtef hovers and comes into a nice, smooth landing, compliments <coughs> the pilot uh, with the steadiest hand in the galaxy, uh, young Twilliam. This is my driving one, then. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you guys uh, are at the cave. Did Mira jump out of the ship again? Captain! Yeah. Permission to say I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> so after the drawbridge and we were headed out, he just looks at the thing and he went straight to his room, shut the door, and pulled his flask out from under his chair and has been drinking a little bit and was like, Twill, just take us to the cave. Aye, aye, Captain. So now that we're here, uh, permission granted, Beck. I told you so, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's do this thing. I'm playing xylitol. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I got it, don't worry. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> she's here, guys. Um, I can feel her. So, the, uh, uh, so yeah, you guys, uh, uh, the, the blast doors have uh, you kind of been open uh, uh, up to the elements. Uh, you make your way inside, uh, not knowing exactly where Very Berry Carrie is or uh, how, how to get a hold of her, but um, you go to the location where Very Berry Carrie was nearly cut down. 
um, and just start looking around. Why don't you guys uh, give me perception rolls? Oh yeah, first I'll, roll of season two. I'll first roll of yeah. season two, and it's a perception roll. I'll be using my cosmic crit dice. Ooh, Ooh. fancy smancy. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Bad. That's a three. Okay. This is perception, right? So yeah. I get plus zero. Three, nice. <laughs> nice. 30. 30? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Okay, so uh, so yes, uh, both uh, a 12. Oh, and let me, let me roll for xylitol. Uh, I think we got it with his 30. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so but yeah. Just in case. You guys uh, uh, start looking high and low, uh, start kicking rocks. <laughs> Uh, you know that the Deep Ones have the ability to sort of camouflage themselves as uh, a cave decoration. So maybe um, we shouldn't kick rocks, actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you, you may accidentally murder a, 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 a harmless little leprechaun. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so, but, uh, but Will uh, doesn't need any of that. He's like, oh, yeah, there you go. Ah. Yeah. God. Very, very carry? Where? Oh, God, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, you can see me? Uh, yeah, you're just right there. Oh, truly, you are the chosen ones. And uh, I'm uh, not seeing them. <laughs> <laughs> I do that thing where I, I go up to back. I'm like, there, right there. Look, look where I'm pointing. Right there. Wave. It, it's not Very, very carry, please wave. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, a, a very, very carry uh, sort of uh, reveals herself um, and, and, and stands there. You returned. The great ones have returned. Oh, it is a blessing! Oh. All right, uh, take it. You're like an eleven. I need you at like a six right now. <laughs> very well. I apologize. No, you're okay. You're. Great. I'm very excited. You're. You're going to have a hero's welcome when you return to the city. Yeah. Let's um. Let's get there. Let's. We need to have a talk about this prophecy. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, the prophecy. Here, here I, I have it written down. Uh, there was a page. There was a page missing, and I, 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 I found the one that has the last line on it. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> the last to... line you already said rhymed, even though it said there wasn't any more. <laughs> that was a total accident. You were a poet, and you didn't even know it. I know. Well, classic. Well, with a name like Very Berry Carry, it's coming to you pretty naturally. I tried. Yeah. Uh, see, would you like me to read it all over again? Yes, but in a much faster tempo than last time. <laughs> maybe, maybe, perhaps I should save this for later. That's okay. Um. Yeah. No. Uh, sorry. We should. We should go. There's. There's going to be a celebration, for sure. I, I try to snatch the paper from her. <laughs> okay, you too. All right. Oh, ah, oh, well, there, there, there you go. We'll uh, give it back. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, you know, metal bones, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, one must He's die. Talking about himself. Another maimed. The hunters seek the one who's blamed. Impossible heart, born from disdain. It's heart shaped red hued data chain. A rival mm-hmm. returns to settle the score with tendrils spreading from the core. Yes, tendrils spreading from the core. That was the line that I had meant to say, but it wasn't on the the version that I had. Oh, right. So wait, what was that last line again? With a rival returns to settle the score with tendrils spreading from the core. Yes. Interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um You you uh, have, you have kind of tendrily features. Yes, well, we all do. <laughs> you, you are going to love. Okay. Here you go. I'm sorry I stole the that. Eastern Conclave. No, no, no. It's absolutely fine. Um, there was a, um, a four-armed uh, individual. They yes. jumped off the ship. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, well, we can talk about that later. It's kind of a sensitive subject right now. Don't worry. They weren't trustworthy. We'll be better off as it is now. All right. Uh, well, um, I guess we should um, proceed uh, then, and perhaps we can um, meet up with her later, or maybe she's the one who dies. I, I mean, I don't know. Prophecies are weird, aren't they? <laughs> um, um, that would be just my luck. <laughs> you guys, um, outside you hear a roaring kind of thundering noise. Uh, uh, coming from the mouth of the cave, uh, and and uh, he goes, bro, 
Is there something wrong with your ship? Did you hide your ship well? Uh, what is that? No, we, we it's parked it right in front. <laughs> yes. Uh, it... I uh, jump yeah. out of the ship. Definitely it comes, uh, so not... weapons out type of situation. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, I mean, it's an old ship. It does make strange noises sometimes. So, <laughs> oh, all right. Well, it, it sounds like somebody may be here. So he gets out his. He's got a knife. You're and... okay. Just hang back. Just no, no, no. I control you. Oh boy. All right. We'll stay in the back. All right. Okay. <laughs> an adventure. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna try to sneak up. Okay. Well, along the wall, uh, give me a uh, give me a stealth roll. Stealth roll. Here we go. Super stealthy. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a seventeen. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. Wait. Uh, after after you had your after. Did you roll a two or something? Yes, I did. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that that matters. Um, but you know. It's it's a thing. Uh, uh, so yeah, you, but you, you're stealthy. You mm-hmm. move into the shadows. You slide wa- along the walls. Uh, it's you know again sexy as hell. And you make your way to the mouth cave. The the cave of the mouth. The blast door is open. Uh, peek mouth. your head around. You got <laughs> you got twill mouth behind cave. you. You got very very carry with his yeah. with her dangerous blade. I pull out the because this is the sword cane that I never got to use in season one. So I have the blade out for the first time ever. Yeah. <laughs> It's good. And uh, he, Will gets there first, peeks around the corner, and he sees a hot rod. He sees a dude with a sweet-ass uh, a blonde mohawk um, at the driver's wheel. And having already jumped out of the vehicle before it stopped moving, <laughs> you see Brand. your compatriot <laughs> with forearms standing there. Stupid prophecy. <laughs> Should we oh! open fire? <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes well, I want to. <laughs> um, uh, okay. I don't know. Let's wait for her and see what she's going to do. <clears throat> I want to watch her flail around for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I sheath the sword. So, here to betray us again. Uh, Mr. Cheeseboto, it's been great. Yeah? Yeah. What did you think of this farm? It, it was something... It's really good. It was something. I'd love to take you to a concert sometimes. They occasionally do some things, not in Red Rock Canyon, of course, but, you know, if we you can make our what? way over to Deepwater, they do have a venue that plays some really good farm music. I would love that. All right. Well, uh, you know, I'll be in touch. You know how to get me, so. Thank you. You, Bye. I can give you my note. <laughs> well, you know. I'll be around. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just like yeah. I'm, he fires I'm up the engine. To, like, <laughs> the Doppler effect takes. What what was that sometime. music called? Farn. Flark. Flarsh. I don't even remember what I called it. Did I write right. it down? Flarn. I'm gonna have to check the vod. <laughs> we'll find out. It's very important. Flarn. 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 Farm. 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 It goes by a lot of names. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it there's says, there's a lot of subgenres. Food, food, so yeah. yeah. Uh, and then so like, yes, he, he he takes off. He does not kick up a lot of dust because he's a gentleman. Um, and you are standing there with a, enough dust to be dramatic. Okay, great. But not to be suffocating. And you are staring down your former friends, maybe. How much of that did you see? Uh, the part where you, he, you, you almost gave him your number? Yeah, I, I definitely part. saw you yes. hitting on that guy. So you didn't see me jump out. Great, great. Have you already found a replacement it's kind for of, me? kind of a jumping day, right? Do you know Is this your jumping? new fourth team member? It's been 30 minutes. You don't remember this? This is our leprechaun that you attacked. <laughs> you don't remember him? Oh. Look, he yeah, carries show, a knife. Yeah, show her the scar. Yeah, I still have this oh. yes, oh, that, scar running across I my that. chest. That happened. Yes, oh, it's, well, it's, it but I forgive good. you because <laughs> you, you're the heroes of the prophecy. So. That sounds fake, but okay. <laughs> yes. It looks good. Everything's fine. You put uh, me back together quite nicely. <laughs> they're abandoning deep water. The stewards are. What uh, did you do? Oh. <laughs> 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 what did I do? Uh, well, okay. Their plan fell through, I'm assuming, right? So the new plan is leave? Yeah. 
They're cowards. Hmm. Should have called that one. Yeah, probably should have. Um, we we th we can't just let them go, or we can't like. What are we going to do? So you're saying we should do something? I like, think we should absolutely. Uh, like like we were going to do. The alternative uh, yes, to uh, Captain, I, I believe that we were ah, doing yeah. something. Doing things, yes. Right. Can I try uh, to sense motive? I believe. Oh. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, I want to sense motive on you. <laughs> Are you worried I'm <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Why would right, you do 14. that? Fourteen. Fourteen? Yeah. She seems to be on the up and up. <laughs> I've heard this so many times before, but I want to believe you. <laughs> I jumped out of a ship, I know, um, but I'm here. Not here for some stupid prophecy, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm here right. to protect this planet, and I want to come back, but I gotta know that's where y'all are at as well. All right. Y okay. You can't just wander up to our ship with the subtle, intricate harmonies of Flarm playing and, <laughs> and just assume we'll take you back. Uh, uh, that is absolutely what I'm doing. I mean, it was a banger, though. It was a banger. It was a banger. I remember no, that. No, it notes. was not. This thought is weird. That music speaks to me. That music slapped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, uh, crew meeting. <laughs> All right, so we're going to walk away. Does this, <laughs> does this include me? Uh, yeah, you Is can he come. <laughs> I, I definitely am like, you can come. Just hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah, crew members only. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we make a crew I'm just meeting. Character. I, Captain, it, I, it, I, I know where you're going with She's this. like, I'm going to ground you. But I have to protest. <laughs> am I that predictable? You're very predictable. <laughs> Uh, you're probably right. What's your protest? My protest is that we historically have not been able to trust this person. They worked for the stewards, they left us, they jumped off our ship just a moment ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's been 30 minutes! Cut me some slack. 30 minutes. Okay. I wonder Duly what noted. These stewards are. You uh, know that I will go with your orders, but. As security officer for this ship, I think this is a serious security issue. Also duly noted. Twill? Well, I kind of, I don't know where to answer because I think this is the first time I've ever been heartbroken. I think that's what I'm feeling. But she is one of us. Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No, Captain. Very, very carry. <laughs> yes. Thoughts? Well, she's in the prophecy. You can't have a prophecy and then have one piece missing from the prophecy. That that's ridiculous. That wouldn't be a prophecy. That would just be Okay, we're putting an embargo on the word prophecy. Okay. <laughs> but I love how it sounds. No we... <laughs> Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Alright, you owe okay. us a gemstone every time you say that word now. Fair enough. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, temporary moratorium on prophecy. <laughs> yes. Alright. Uh, she seems not contrite. What's the word? Taciturn. No, driven? I don't know. She has a fire in her, and um, perhaps I think she would be a good asset to your, to our <laughs> crew. Or somebody else's, and then ours again, and then somebody else's again. But I get what you're saying. Yes. All right, uh, you guys stay here. Xylitol, what do you think? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Um, I don't know. I say we give her another shot. All right. Oh, look. I like Mira's willingness to attack things. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> but if she joins the crew again and betrays us, I am going to... I told you so harder than you have ever been told. <laughs> <laughs> I reserve that right. Yes. And I will deserve it. Very well. All right, you guys wait here. I'm gonna walk up, taking my time. Yeah. Nice little saunter. Kicking up a little dust. Uh-huh. Yep. <clears throat> Mira stands impassively, arms akimbo. I was hoping you were gonna be looking yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. Already Perfect. ahead of you, Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
like, Four, yeah. disappointment. Yeah, double me. akimbo. Two. Yeah, yeah, both of them stacked in front of each other. It's great. Yeah. Verdict. Let's go. Okay. And starts walking. Deep water, deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, <that's>... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a big old soft spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys head into Bathard's cave. Um, uh, yes, very Barry carries. Got the gang back together again. Um, you guys uh, go into the corridor uh, where Very Berry Carey uh, has been hiding, um, and uh, she uh, points to a, a little uh, a crevice in the wall, and she says, "All right, well, we will need to make our way through here, and um, uh, it's a bit of a walk, probably about uh, uh, ten minutes till we get to our first stop." Uh, where are we going? Ah, uh, we are going to a seam. Seam. A drift seam. Oh. Oh. Oh, um, and actually, if uh, I could real quick, you are wearing these bracelets, I see. Um, those are going to need to come off. Why? Because they are not accepted in the caverns. Out of character. What are the bracelets? Uh, and so <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, uh, pe- people. Yes, yeah, these are garbage people oh. bracelets that would buzz. Uh, uh, back when we were accepting donations, uh, you would have the ability to offer us a uh, uh, what was it? Um, toast. A toast. toast of some kind, uh, and and we would re- we would read that aloud uh, when your wrist bracelet buzzed. Uh, turns out the garbage people are actually just the Atl- Atlante Empire, which is a problem. and so which is a problem. <laughs> so oh you boy. guys are uh, you guys have Atlante technology on you. And he is gone. She is subtly reminding it. Perhaps we should um, leave those behind. Perhaps even destroy them. And we know for sure that these are these are garbage people devices. Pretty they sure okay. that they are. They, they came from mm-hmm. a garbage people uh, container. Not all of them are. You know, it's not like uh, it's not like they're going to use these to spy. But eh, probably better safe than sorry. So all right. Um, uh, yes, we'll just put them uh, perhaps in this bag here. Oh, you throw them yours already. Oh, don't right, worry, don't gone. worry. <laughs> I'll get it. Twill takes theirs and goes, <laughs> and nothing happens because it's very hard to, it's very hard to break something like that. Like, I, <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Twill. I'm going to put mine in the bag. You are weak and wayfish. Bag. <laughs> back. Oh, thank uh, you. I'll, I'll take all of them. And I'll, I'll pull the bag from him, right. and I'm just going to uh, walk... Uh, out to the edge of the cave and just throw the bag off. Go <laughs> <laughs> nice. And just incinerate it on the way down. Mm-hmm. The bag explodes. My bag! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh! My mother needed that for me, but that's fine. The bag was acceptable collateral. <laughs> there were other things in the bag. We can literally get away with anything with the bag. That was my lunch, but it's fine. It's good. It's fine. I can get another bag. <laughs> the bag is in a better place now. <laughs> God, I was mean, like, God, I wish that were me. <laughs> um, and and uh, I still have my calm, my actual garbage person calm. Oh, really? Ooh. Yes. Uh, you should get rid of. Might want to be rid of that. <laughs> uh, can somebody track me on this twill? Can, do they know where this is? Can you tell? Uh, I can make a check to tell you. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, give me a, uh, what would that be? Computers or engineering? Yeah, let's do computers. All right, I have quite a bonus on that. Yeah, I, I understand. Uh, so with my roll of a three, that's an 18. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, uh, with the, the comm, they can probably track your location. It's It, it doesn't, I don't think it's going to work underground. Well, I uh, go into I, settings and I turn off location features. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that's possible. He hacked it. Um, oh, I just went to the menu. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, so for all for all you know, it's turned off. So at least in the front end, so I trust should be you. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Um, so uh, uh, yes, and, and uh, uh, Barry Barry Carey uh, lifts a tentacled finger and goes, "Rock, <laughs> I know you're missing things for your wrists, so I have a surprise for you." Oh, I hope that wasn't in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh damn it! What what were you looking for? No 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 no! It, uh, I put it in the pouch. <laughs> All right, and uh, he pulls out uh, five. Uh, uh, they're sort of like mystical looking 
Uh, you know how in, in junior high you would get like those little you, you would braid. Oh. Uh, no, the, you know, like, like, yeah, bracelets. like a little friendship yeah. bracelet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It pulls out five little friendship bracelets, and uh, it, she, she's wearing one. I, I keep flipping her gender back. <laughs> to she? Um, it can and be gender fluid. You never know. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's entirely possible. Uh, we have a lot to learn about the deep ones. And uh, he's like, well, uh, Captain, would you do the honors and pass these out? Um, these are going to be needed to, uh, to go where we are about to go. What do they appear to be made of? And do they have a, like a screen on them, or the, just they're they're kind of slightly glowing, uh, uh, which is interesting. But but uh, it, it appears to be sort of a like a a plant like material, um, but it is not rigid. Um, uh, it's sort of planty, kind of leathery uh, uh, material. Okay. Can I uh, bendable, flexible? You're able to get it on and take it off. Life science or mysticism? It. Uh, yeah, you can mysticism it. Come on, mysticism Ooh. it. Can I age you in that? Is that well? I got a, a, okay. I have a twenty-five, but oh, you can shit. absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna try a little. Seven, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna try my own mysticism <laughs> okay. check. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's twenty-five. Yeah, it might be radioactive. Yeah, you can, you can, you can do a separate uh, uh, mysticism check. So you'll let him mysticize, and then you mysticize. Yeah. Oh, you can go first. If you I did. You already did. Oh, you did it. Okay. Yeah, he rolled like well, a. He rolled very well. Oh, okay, cool. What'd you roll? Uh, I rolled a math 23. 23, okay, so you guys are about the same. Uh, you have seen this kind of aura before. It, it, it's very recently, uh, well, not recently. Um, this has the same kind of vibe, that same sort of magical energy pulsating around drift stones. Mm. So it's like a, it kind of like has. It's not exactly a drift stone. It's not made of rock, but you know there may be like something going trans on. Trans-dimensional kind of. Yeah, feel yeah, yeah. To it. Okay. Yeah, you get that feeling like your wrist is kind of phasing in and out. And like, oh, it's nah. really weird. <laughs> what is it? <clears throat> Sorry, it's something we're putting on. There you go. Um, yeah. What color is mine? <laughs> <laughs> Roll for color. <laughs> I mean, we can. We have different colors back in the uh, the East Conclave, but um. How far is the East Conclave? Ah, <clears throat> uh, it's going to be about well, well, just a ten minute walk oh, there, and then oh, we're going I'll to be. I'll stick with blue. Blue, blue, blue. Blue is very nice. Blue is nice. Yes. Right. Well. All right. So we're going to need to uh, sort of shimmy through this crack here, but it widens after you get through, and it, it'll be about a ten minute walk to the uh, to the first. After you. All right, very well. Is, and so, it, is it big enough for us to get through? It's gonna be tight. <laughs> Beck's not a shimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this first little passage is gonna be very tight, but uh, 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 but it should be okay once you get. Uh... Maybe I should have taken a level of which war, uh, which. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I could have made it not difficult them. terrain. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, so yeah, he uh, he shimmies through and uh, waits for you guys on the other side. It's. It's it's tight. It's a bit of a squeeze, but um, you know you can hold your breath and kind of push your way through, and uh, uh, you're able to you're able to get there. And so, nice. it is just a uh, very uh, ordinary kind of looking cave system. Uh, uh, it, it's starting to get colder. It descends deeper into the ground. Uh, uh, it, it, it's it looks like a lava chute, uh, uh, really. Um, but you know, you'll occasionally see seams of uh, of metal running along. This is not this is not worked. This all appears to be natural. Um, so it's and like so, metal veins. Yeah, yeah. It's, you, you know, you, you'll catch an occasional glitter of something. Like a uh, uh, deep water prime is very rich with uh, with minerals. And if you guys were prospectors, mm, this could be uh, this could be quite nice. Um, <coughs> were you one of the ones who built these? Uh, oh, me? No, these have been here for centuries. And how long have you exactly been here? How long have I been alive? Yeah. <laughs> how old are you? Is that an impolite question for me to ask? No, <laughs> no, no. Nobody has ever asked me that question. I'm about no. um, 74. Uh, you you Earth, don't look a day over it. Earth turns. Okay. Earth, where's that? <laughs> Sorry, Earth is the thing that we are walking on, and there is a dial that spins in the center, and every time it spins, uh, it, it has little notches on it, and when my notch comes up, that is my Earth Day. Oh, so, ah. Yes, ah. I've been alive for 74 of those. 74 Earth Days. 74 right. Earth Days. Okay. And I don't look a day over 60, you if do. I don't say so. I would agree with that sentiment. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, All right. So where is he leading us? I, like, look to you. Hashtag go deeper. 
<laughs> Get deep, literally. Uh, where where is he leading us? East. Where are they leading east, us? East. East something. Are you east. asking me? No. What was it? East? Oh, she's talking to you. It's, I'm talking I don't know if I've told you yet. He's taking us to the rest of them. They're, we're going to talk about the prophecy. Mm. Still... Gemstone. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. It's a forbidden word. We uh, we we nixed that word. No, but we're gonna talk about. Uh, well, we're gonna talk about that which shall not be discussed. You can say that. <laughs> All right. I still think this is a bad idea. This seems like a waste of time. Hey, good thing you came along. Good thing I came along. <laughs> Twilliam, I missed you so much. Don't worry, it's all going to make sense in time. We just need to. Wonderful. Her. If it gets too boring to you, there might be some place you can jump off. Oh! <laughs> 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 uh, 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 there, there it is. I can, I can see it glowing up ahead. Uh, Bird yes. affirmed, Captain. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so uh, you guys sort of round a, um, a sort of smooth corner, and you see off in the distance a, uh, a very strong glow. And he's like, ah, okay, almost there. Should be another couple of minutes or so. All right. Um, and he trun- she trundles along, and so they what? finally arrive. At a, um, uh, it is a wall uh, that has a sort of round plate in the middle, and uh, that plate is etched with runes, um, and it is glowing. And he's like, mm, "All right, <laughs> we've made it." So, uh, what I'm going to need you to do is um, just place your hand uh, like so on the globe, and um, close your eyes. You will feel a tingling in your wrist, and the drift seam will take you to our next location. <clears throat> when you say the drift seam will take us to our next location, are you saying we're going to a, a teleport, or are we traveling into the drift? Yes, well, kind of. It's a kind of drift. It's a tunnel through the drift. Um, but it is maintained by uh, the good, uh, the, the, the deep ones, and so it is very safe. It is not the um, the ripped apart drift that you typically travel in. This is a safe corridor that will guide you along, and it will be a very pleasant experience, I promise you. So we don't need environmental protections from our suit or anything? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Hmm. You will be provided with all that you need. Can, uh, you said there was rooms? <sighs> Written along the edge? Yes. Is there any way for me to make some sort of, like, can I, like, take a picture of those? Or yeah. Or write them down or yeah. something just so I uh-huh. have this really You can get out, like, a little a little pencil and kind of yeah, you know, s- sketch it Indiana Mira Jones style. Yeah, I that dedicated at yeah, this yeah. moment. Uh-huh. Yes. She yeah. seems that. <laughs> mm-hmm. she, she, she would wait and do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So, what what language is this? It's, um, it's deep. It's it's just deep. Deep. Can you, can you read these runes? Oh yeah. Yeah. What do mm-hmm. they say? It's a beautiful language. Grimwald. What is Is there a translation? I don't know. That? Wait. Why do your prophecies rhyme in English? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Bottles. Uh, uh, <laughs> what 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 is it? What does it say? Oh, it's just a drift seam. It's just so, a drift seam. Yes. Okay. Oh, and and it has the the, the well this this part the, oh, the this is the drift <laughs> seam and this is um, the, uh, the the name of the cavern that we will be traveling to uh, on on this side here. Um, uh, well, where is that cavern? Oh, it's it's uh, several miles uh, in that direction. So there's no chance of us being attacked by rift demons on the way. No, 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 no. You'll be quite safe. Well, You'll be well fine. taken care of. Well, that's everyone's dumb. first time in the drift <laughs> seam is it's delightful. You're well, going to love it. Here goes nothing. Boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, uh, so um, you notice Xylitol kind of hanging back. <gasps> Xy? Yeah. I don't think I like this. I thought you loved the drift. Mm, not really. Uh, I'm gonna go. What you just? All right, see you later. We. I'm gonna go. Are you, you're coming back. We could. Co- <laughs> just starts walking away. You're coming back, right? I'm gonna go. 
I will not make a retention joke. <laughs> <laughs> the crew members on this team. <laughs> so high turnover. Xylitol <laughs> with uh, Cerveza buzzing uh, uh, quietly in the background uh, starts scuttling back up the corridor. Cerveza. Hey, I believe. I'll miss you. Well, that's. I'll miss you. That's how Xy's always been. Yeah, that's that, that, that's part <laughs> of the course for Xylitol. I, yeah. I'm not sure Xylitol was ever even officially a crew member. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's or they they were sort of like a a, uh, a, a cat that moved yeah. into Constant your house at some away. point, and you're like, after a few years, we assumed it's our cat, but it could run away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so yes, you uh, the you see a fading uh, the the fading light is Xylitol in her lab coat. Um, uh, with an empty uh, <laughs> bottle that used to contain a... Uh, fungible. A, a yeah, fungible. Fungible. That's, thank you for remembering that. <laughs> the empty fungible bottle uh, uh, <laughs> clinking noisily, uh, followed by her loyal drone, and she uh, heads out. She'll come back. <laughs> she, she's around. She'll come she back. Will. She so, has her number. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, um, if she, what, she, oh, I can't say the word. <laughs> it's okay. It, it's fine. You can say it now. I feel like we're going to be saying it a lot soon. Yes. Um, well, the prophecy. I, I'm sure we'll figure something out. <laughs> and prophecies are they're, they're a funky thing. Too. So, but there's four of you. <laughs> I'm very excited for that. So, uh, shall we? Uh, yeah, yes. Sure. Okay. Another day, uh, another destiny. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so uh, uh, yeah, you guys put your, you all put your hands <laughs> on the drift stone, or on onto the, uh, the the drift scene plate, and your wrists start to get warm, and the, the energy kind of flows. Yeah, sorry, yeah, where the bracelet is, uh, and energy just kind of flows up. Your your it starts to crackle. Um, the, the world kind of goes wavy and gets a little funky. Um, uh, uh, there's this strong smell of uh, of ozone and and uh, mushrooms and dirt and uh, 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 things go black. And each of you uh, are sort of realize you're floating in space, and you are in a big sort of spherical room um, with uh, 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 tentacles sprouting from the walls, hmm. and the tentacles sort of undulate. Uh, they're, you know, they're nice. They, they, they're kind <laughs> of flowing like uh, like seawater, and yeah. they sort of start to. Start to grab onto you, little suction cups, mm, go, mm. and, Not and that. they uh, uh, sort of usher you along and uh, start to propel you uh, through a little opening uh, in uh, in one side of the sphere. Uh, the tentacles sort of part, and they they push you along, and you guys are able to breathe. Uh, but it's just like it's like floating in space. Um, uh, but but you're being gently brushed by uh, by tentacles, and uh, before you know it, you are traveling at a fairly fast pace hmm. um, uh, through this through this weightless uh, uh, drift uh, area. And uh, you know, it's almost like um, uh, what do they call peristalsis? You know, you feel like yeah. you're going through a uh, you feel like you're going through the colon uh, of of this thing, and 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 just getting getting gently brushed, and and it's it's starting to smell nice. There's 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 the occasional you know dash of uh, a dash of truffle. juniper and 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 truffle and <laughs> olives, and it's just <sighs> and uh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Can we talk? There's no earthly way of knowing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, can I like can I see like what this is connected to like with like either like a perception or something? I just want to like figure like what am I? What the in? tentacles are connected? Just yeah, gone, let yourself go. Just let myself go. This is very difficult. For just me. take a deep breath, relax, let the tentacles <gasps> guide you. Ah, oh, sophisticated scent palette. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys are going uh, going along for a good, you know, uh, uh, 10, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, dang. <laughs> and uh, 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 Just letting it happen. At some point, the tentacles start to you just feel little, you know, little tiny tugs as as they g grab you and gently slow you down. Um, and 
kind of uh, push you kind of through one by one, and and and, and eventually, you know, they're, they're taking a more firm hand with you, just kind of like pushing you along like this, and uh, uh, they get you up to uh, a glowing plate once again, and uh, it, it's it, it's. Um, sort of this one's more sort of translucent as if it's like the other side of the plate um and they <clears throat> sort of uh, spin you so that you're head down and uh, kind of put your arms at your side if you kind of resist and they sort of spit you uh, uh through the plate <clears throat> and the landing is not great on the other side but you land yourself on some solid rock uh on the other side of the drift plate <laughs> Ugh. I hated that. <laughs> I was not a fan of it either. I suspect, I mean, tentacles for the deep ones are normal. It'd kind of be like a hand just moving you, right? So I'm, it just probably seems weird to us. I found that surprisingly relaxing. Yeah, well, that's good. That was a lot weirder than I was expecting it was going to be. It was, was pretty weird, <laughs> but <core>? pretty relaxing. <laughs> was I that the core ended. the prophecy spoke of? With the tentacles? Tendrils? The core? What was Remember that? Remember the last line of yeah. the prophecy mm-hmm. spoke of tendrils and then do you uh, think that's what it was talking about and then something well, returning from something with tendrils yeah i'm only wow. an amateur poet but if i was writing a prophecy i wouldn't front load i wouldn't put the thing that happens right at the beginning of the prophecy <laughs> right at the end of the prophecy <laughs> <laughs> i just think that would be like burying the lead a little bit <laughs> uh hmm. yeah i mean that's that checks out that's or at that. least lead, you know, build it with a but first. Right. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what are your guys' religious beliefs? Mm. <clears throat> Hail Besmara. <laughs> <laughs> Our religious beliefs. Our pirate queen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very glad you asked that question. Um, we are a very devout, uh, devout. Sorry, you didn't look at my notes, did you? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I didn't realize. Um, I'm cheating. Uh, we, we, we have a... We are in the presence of a god. <laughs> a tentacle um, god? Yes, he's in the East Conclave now. Could you believe the luck? What is your god's name? His name is... Meth-Orc. <laughs> <laughs> Meth-Orc? Meth orc. I think that means something different in English. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, it's coincidences. It, it's a sacred name to us. All right. Yes. You... Meth orc resides in the Eastern Conclave. He was rescued from the wreckage of a ship that had fallen from the skies. Yeah, a lot of gods ride in ships. Okay. Yes. Yeah. What, yes. What, what does he believe in? What does he believe in? He believes in harmony. He believes in happiness. Mm. Um, All right, he but how does he in believe in achieving those things? Knowledge. I'm not sold on any of these tenets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's quite something. I can't wait for you to meet him. He's going to be beside himself, and we have found the men from his prophecy, <laughs> and we from his prophecy. Sorry, uh, I, uh, I shouldn't have used and. Oh God! <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to hide real quick. Back to back. To found the individuals from his prophecy that he penned with his own tiny shriveled hand. <laughs> it is going to be amazing. I can't wait to bring you there. But first, we have to. Um... Oh, oh, this is interesting. Um, and so you guys find yourself in a big moss-covered cavern okay. uh, that looks like so. Oh boy! Um, Look at these little cuties. Um, so, oh, bye, Silentone. Um, so let us actually let me rotate this. Um, this is killing all of us. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> this is a large. Uh, uh, like I said, moss-covered cavern. There are stalactites. There are rocks. Uh, there is kind of um, uh, a, a, a equipment. Uh, it looks like neat. Uh, there's an engine right there for some damn reason. Cool. Um, <laughs> and uh, there is a uh, trickling water creek. What do they call it? An aquifer. Um, uh, that is uh, uh, coming from this direction and draining into here. And you guys have come from, uh, oh wait, is it, which one was it? Uh, yes, over here. Um, so place yourselves in this general area. Great. 
Oh, what is that wall right there? It's just a wall? Is it like a um, wall? It is a big rock oh, great. slash rock. stalactite. I guess this oh. is a stalactite. Um, and then also I'll, I'll just be a kinda stalactite right over there. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where or where are we coming in from? I'm sorry. My <laughs> You're coming in from. So this is this is where you have landed. So okay, you guys all kind of shoot through the chute. Okay, great. Um, uh, you just put me in the as it's meant group. to do. Yeah. yeah. You squishy. I just can't you reach. squishy. Well, yeah, I just yeah. can't reach. Also, <laughs> and please be in the middle. You squishy. Very, <laughs> yeah, very that's carry. That's perfect. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Is you guys smell that? Uh, smell what? Uh, smell it's probably things. nothing. Um. I hate it when that. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I, can I try to smell? Yes. Can, give I, me can a, I roll to smell? Uh, give me uh, yeah. Just just give me a perception roll. Smell check. Okay, smell check. Yeah. Uh, that's a fifteen. Yeah, it, it is such a foreign area that you were in that it could be anything. You have okay. no idea what he's smelling. What if we use um, a level two smell slot? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. Um, uh, uh, welcome yeah. back, guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of the devil. John himself. Hold on. Very, very carry. Thank you for the donation. Thank or say thank you for the sub. Sub. Thank you. We have the perfect NPC picked out for you. Wait. Wait. <laughs> it's gonna get confusing. Oh, <laughs> I fully intend on it being confusing. It's thank family, you. It's a family name. It's what it was. Uh, Even this, more. I made Mary. my bed. I'm gonna lie in it. Yeah. Um. Uh. Will. Mm-hmm. Um. You have a sort of a personal communication device, right? Uh, yeah. We, um, the signal is very, very faint. You're probably about, God, if you had to guess, you're about a mile underground. Um, but th there's like just one tiny bar. This is sort of top of the line equipment that you've got. Uh -huh. um, you see that the engines to the Garnet Laser Brash <laughs> Death are firing up. Oh, we should have thought of that. Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> well, how I, else I took, was she gonna leave? I took you... the keys. You, you took the keys? Yeah, right here. Ah, she built the thing. It's not going to stop her. <laughs> <laughs> My mugs are there. <laughs> uh, also, your dead girlfriend. <laughs> uh, you're dead what? Oh, well, you know. You were, wait, weren't you, weren't you there? I didn't know she was your dead girlfriend. Oh, no, well, we, I mean, we were, like, dating. Not that I'm trying to say that we weren't dating. Well, I mean. Well, she's dead now, right? Sort of. <laughs> kind of. All right. Uh, is we were trying to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confused. Uh, did, did, did we get the soul back? Uh, oh, oh, the flash drive. They snapped yeah. it, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, well, the drow still has the flash drive, right? We haven't tracked her down all the way yet. All right. Uh, okay, right? Yeah. Do, so, 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 Xylitol has just stolen the ship now. And the body. Oh. That, that we had to plug this. I feel like the ship here. is a little bit more important, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, it's all very important. Says you. I think the ship is more important. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I bet her parents would disagree. <laughs> well, I think they're dead, though. Uh, we, we, this, unfortunately, this seam is closed now for some time while it, it, it recharges. Of course uh, it is. Okay. We will be unable to return um, and, and until the tentacles have had a chance to rest. It's well, very difficult on them, okay. these things that we do. Well, we can at least track... The brash death, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll worry about that when we get out. Okay. I apologize for the loss of your ship. It's not it's your really fault. Not it's your completely his fault. Is he is the captain. This has happened, like, and the responsibility it's way of it more than you him. think. It's the fault of crew members who constantly... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, here, hold on. Let me, let me bring up some wonderful music. This is by Sirenscape. Is it um, Flam? So, is it Sirenscape? Is it Flam? I screwed up. Flarm. Flarm. Sirenscape. That Sirenscape. makes sense because it's a Y. Some Flam. Some sick. Oh, some yeah, sick. let's play some Flam, Flarm, baby. Damn. Yeah, this is going to be better than Flam. This is going to be okay. sub terra. Tall order. <laughs> <laughs> better than Flam. More Cave melodic. water. Uh, and Dom, let me know if that's uh, too loud on the stream and I can adjust it over here if you guys can even hear a damn thing. It's coming, coming through? from that speaker right over there. Is it? Is there gonna be a musical number? Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> we love musical Another numbers. Destiny. <laughs> All right. Um, so yes, uh, uh, he. Uh, sorry, she. <laughs> very, very carry. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. This uh oh. Could be, this could be bad. Well, um, 
I don't think we're alone. Um, <clears throat> and you hear from the other end of the cavern a, um, uh, a couple of voices going, Gar, 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 Gar. Is this... Gar? Gar. Gar. <laughs> gar, Gar, Gar. Are these enemies with which we should meet with hostile force? Um, very, very careful. Very, very likely. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to stand against this wall. Over That's here completely and... fine, but I need you to tell me what's coming for us right now. Muckmen. Muckmen. <laughs> muckmen. Can you communicate with them? Muck people. You don't communicate with muckmen. People. All right. Muck. <laughs> All right. Muck folk. Well, then. <laughs> Muckmen's just a better word. I'm sorry. <laughs> The alliteration makes it decidedly better. <laughs> All right, let's get these muckers. <laughs> so, PG-13. Yeah. I kept the PG-13. From the water, from the water arises four ghastly shapes. Beautiful. Undulating, beautiful. moist, <laughs> muddy. Oh, PG-13. boy. <laughs> moist, I know, right, Fine. moist. For some Und- people, that is, that is an R-rated word. Uh... What is the amount of distance? Like, how many feet between us and them right now? Uh, let's say uh, uh, five, ten, fifteen. It's about a, it's about a hundred feet. Okay, maybe. great. It's um, a, a, a two by two square is five, right? Or is that still? Uh, yes, two by two square is five. So, um, we'll just kind of estimate it for now because that would take a long time to count all those squares. Welcome, vocals. And then what? Oh no! What? <laughs> Is oh, there no. a dragon? We got more dinosaurs to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Henry insisted. Nice. And so oh, a, a squad of muckmen arise from the aquifer. A squad is the proper classification of a, a group, group of, of muckmen. Muck muck yeah, yeah, it's, it's called a squad. Squat. A squad. And um, their leader, uh, or who you assume to be their leader. Um, Gerald Muckman. Let's call him Emperor Riptide. Um, steps forward. <clears throat> he's got a uh, he's got a crystal sort of whip in his hands, and he looks at you guys and he goes, "Gar, gar, gar." They have quite the vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk up a few steps. Mm-hmm. And uh, are they? Uh, how are they doing? They're holding tight. Yeah, we kind of like. All right. Well, I can close 120 feet in one round unless I'm really reading my <laughs> nice. class abilities incorrectly. Uh, so, all right. And so it's it's at this point it's just kind of a standoff. They're not expecting to see anybody. Uh, Captain, mm-hmm. shall we engage before they see us? Have they seen? Have they not seen us already? They've seen. Yeah, they've seen us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shall we engage after they've seen us? Uh, uh, Garn! Garn, Garn! Emperor Riptide looks over at his friend Castles and Chemo. Um, <laughs> Captain, who, Captain, your accent is horrible. <laughs> has the vague outline of a wolf. Castles and Chemo. Garn, Garn, Garn. Garn. Well, Garn, Garn. Garn. <laughs> Let's all roll initiative. Hooray! Huzzah! It's fight time. The muck men. I didn't know you spoke muck men. <laughs> I, uh, I took a class in community. Oh, awesome. <laughs> this episode is called The Muck Men Prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And this guy. Ooh, it's a one. That's not good. That's not a great initiative roll. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was hoping I had more, but I don't. Mm-hmm. You rolled pretty well. Yeah, <laughs> gonna be, yeah. Probably going to be over oh, here. Let's late. see. Oh, I got a two, which makes my initiative only 14. <laughs> 14. Oh <my> All right. <laughs> uh, so 14, so you are probably I'm right around soldier. here. What, uh, uh, did you find your initiative? Uh, yes, okay. um, I'm a 17. 17, okay. Slightly faster. Uh, Captain Will Dean. 11. 11, okay. So you were going to go here. And Twill. Eight. Eight! We were going to go at the same time as the Muckman. My dex mod is th- uh, plus three. Ah, that would do it. Um, so let us start then. The Muckmen appear to be very interested in attacking. Okay, great. So That's what, all I need. <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, is, am I up first? Uh, you are up first, Mira. Oh, okay, great. Um, so, quick question. So, mm-hmm. it doesn't say next to my abilities which one is a Graviton and which one is, like, which 
which one is photon? Like if I want to tune either way. Right. Supernova. Um, are you uh, saying... what, what are oh, supernova, supernova is, photon. is photon. Okay, great. Thank you. That's my only question. <laughs> Building um, up for that supernova. Okay, great. Champagne so supernova. In that mm. case, I would like to attune one to supernova. Okay. Um, and then I would like to. So they're like all the way over there, right? Yes. Um, I would like to. Approach, take cover behind. I'm guessing that rock right there. Okay. And then um, just so just, which 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 rock? Uh, this this brown this brown thing right that there. This brown here. Okay. Yeah. So 25, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25, 30, right? My speed is actually 25. 25. Okay. okay. Um, and I think then, it should be 30. I think I screwed oh, up. Oh, I think you, so. that that yeah. you know what? I'm not gonna argue. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> Okay. Um, do I have a view of like? Do I have a clear shot at any of them? Uh, you can I... see Emperor Riptide. You can see the dinosaur. Great. Um, I would like to with my arc pistol then just like take a shot. Okay. Yeah. Give me a shot. Great. At Emperor Riptide. Uh, y yes. So that's okay. that's that one, right? The, that is the that is the plant man. We've had. Great. Um, and plant he man knows. he looks like he wants plant to attack. Knows. Yeah. Uh, yes, okay, they're okay. looking very excited. So I'm gonna go ahead. And they're guarding. They're guarding. So it's, I get an 18 off. to hit. 18 to hit. 18 yeah. hits. Okay, great. And then in that case, uh, one d six plus three. Um, oh, nine. Nine Any points damage. of damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, yes. Uh, so you're you're firing with a arc um, pistol. I'm that's firing with my static arc pistol. That um, is okay. That is an energy based weapon. And so uh, yes, that uh, you see a, a a stream of electrified plasma. <laughs> Uh, 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 bolts out and uh, strikes Emperor Riptide in the chest and sort of diffuses across his body. It, it seems to do quite a bit of damage because yeah. these are sort of water-based creatures. And so, uh, how does how do they react? Uh, do they like? I'm gonna give you one oh, guess okay. as to what he says. <laughs> <laughs> That was not PG thirteen. No, <laughs> he says Gar. Gar. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, going down to uh, it's like, Gar, Gar, and it yeah, and it kind of shoots out through the bottom. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing I do appreciate about being back on this team is that I can shoot things without really thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, and Mira says that to herself. All right. Uh, uh, next up is Beck. All right, uh, so Beck is going to um, uh, actually, but sorry, before before we move on to Beck, uh, uh, this is something you people should know about me. I have a medical condition where I have to take uh, very sudden breaks sometimes in the middle yeah. of a show, and so I should have done it at the end of or at the beginning of the combat, but That's I wasn't fine. quite ready. Um, so we are going to take a five minute break. And uh, we we'll will we'll be here for your entertainment. Yeah, yeah. we're just gonna talk about <laughs> yeah. stuff. Well, are, are, are you guys? I mean, you guys can take a break too. No, we're good. Just... No, let's talk about our feelings. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys want to, we're gonna drop thing. very intricate battle plans that yeah, we'll forget the instance that we're Actually, back. It's going to be yes. my own let's, personal let's, little break. Let's, let's, let's strategize. Okay. I'd be down with that. Sound off in chat. What right. do you want to see happen then? Unless you and I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Go. Well, okay, okay. I, I I want to ask this just because I've been reading it. Yeah. And it seems super good. Okay. Uh, which is that because I am a Blitz Soldier, I can take a charge action with an attack at the end of it as a standard action, which means that I can also use my move action. And because my move is increased by 10, I could go 40 feet with my move and then 80 feet with my charge and then God attack damn. at the end of it. Does that sound right or completely... It Ridiculous. sounds broken, but you should still do it. 100 feet, and that's within one turn, right? Which is like. That's 100 feet. What's the ability? What's the wow. ability? It's, uh. <laughs> let's find out! Yeah, so this is time for yeah. sure. It's on page 114. Oh, even better, thank you. And it is. Okay, so I, yeah, my, my like, type of soldier is a Blitz soldier. And at, uh, my. At first level, I get rapid response, which gives me the plus four to initiative and increases my speed by 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then at fifth level, I got charge attack, which as a standard action, you can make a charge without the charge penalties, and you can substitute a bull rush for the melee attack at the end of it. So I get to, and a charge is normally a full action, which yeah. is right. double your movement and an attack mm -hmm. at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it says you can use it as a standard action, which makes me think that I can still use my move, right? That sounds right. Because you yeah. could use a standard, standard action and yep. a move yep. action. Yep. 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 That's, that's why there's a difference between them, so that makes sense. 
That sounds. That checks out. I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> you're basically just like. <laughs> you're like barrel yeah. cross thing. You're one of those lizards that runs on the water. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh like that uh, Planet Earth video? Yeah, yeah. when it's running oh. from everything? Yeah, it's I mean, that's, that's Yeah, I mean, the math. Checks out. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Right? That's yeah. right. pretty cool. Yeah. Absolutely correct. I mean, Yay! Like, you, have to have, yeah. you have to have basically an unimpeded path yeah. in front of you, but. Well, I, I yeah. guess I, I could do my. I can use my original mo my move action Correct. normally, yes, and set up a place with. Yeah, you're lining up your shot and yeah. then charge. You yeah. really need to watch out for like sliding glass doors, though. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> those two <laughs> mess back up. <laughs> two deep ones are carrying a piece of plate glass. It's like that old like Back to the Future NES game where they're like, "Does anyone, anyone play that?" Is this me? Anyway, no, oh like, yeah, like one of the yeah, yeah it's the one hardest game is, ever. Like, two yeah. people. That game was that game was weird but kind of fun. You're weird, but kind of fun. Thanks, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. I missed y'all. Yeah, oh, I missed y'all. Thanks fun for joining back. us, you guys. Thanks for having yeah. us. On a different channel. The same heart. Same heart? Yeah, <laughs> hey, same murderous heart. Be sure to not only subscribe to the channel, but also, you know, follow Mira and Captain Will oh, and yeah, Twill on Twitter, on because yeah. we are ridiculously weird. <laughs> Mira does not understand technology, is what I've realized. <laughs> I think that she depends too much on like Solarian feels. Mm -hmm. She's what, like, what is Twitter? Handle? What is what is her Twitter handle? Uh, it's uh, Starfinder Mira, I think, or Mira Starfinder. I'll, I'll and Twill is at Twill Seeker. Yeah. That. Oof, mine's like Captain and Will. Just go to one of ours. Beck yeah, doesn't have yeah. one because I already have a difficult time managing the that's social fine. media yeah. accounts yeah. I have. That's that's a hundred percent fair. We're but I also think that that's an in character choice. Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> If you did have one, everything would be all caps, like confessing your love for computer. I right? <laughs> my mugs. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, computer. computer. <laughs> well, my my gun is named computer. Yeah. So and you may have a high computer skill, but I have a high skill with computer. That's my gun. well, you're actually pretty awkward with computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, not the gun, I guess. Right. No, okay. the, yeah, the ship's is... computer and I are like friends. Oh, so. actually, can I see the prophecy? Prophecy? We should probably read it up. For it's people. in his book of notes, oh, and I feel like that's no. gonna count as cheating, oh, <laughs> even though we ha yeah, it's top shake is in there. No, we are literally like, being watched by anyone who wants on. I feel Tyler's like... gone, so that means his notes are open game. Like that's how <laughs> it works. So it's on trap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna open it up, and there's like a, a an ink pack, like yeah. if you're robbing a bank. <laughs> Or, or like they always said was the case if you pulled the uh, fire alarm in school. Yeah, but totally doesn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> don't test that. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not endorsing that in any way. <sighs> Sorry. Yay. No, I'm back. Yay. Yay. I'm back. Yay! Can you scoop this? Thank just you. Yeah, no oh, problem. So they much. wanted me to look at your notes now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gibberish anyway. <clears throat> Now, we were looking up something that we are definitely not going to use against you. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Strategies. So exciting. Strategies. Okay. Strategies. Oh. That's what it's called with this <laughs> game. <laughs> okay. Uh, so where do we live? Oh, we left off with No Baba Beck. Mm -hmm. Vesk Warrior. <laughs> Unstoppable killing machine. And we've confirmed that I'm right about my crazy movement ability, which is sweet. <laughs> that is. Yeah, that's going to be very impressive. Yeah. The Blitzman. All right. Okay. Um, okay, but what I actually think I'm going to do is just try and make my way to. Um, I want to find like a, a high point I can get to from here so that I can uh, get a beat on them and like Hitness. start uh, getting computer, getting some use out of computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can certainly scramble up. Uh, 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 these are these are sort of rocks, sort of uh, oddly shaped rocks. Okay. You can probably get up here. You can probably get up on this thing. Uh, if you want to dive over here against the side of the wall, you, you can get some elevation on it. I'll, I'll go forward. So I'll go that thing uh, at the front. Yeah. Right okay. And just kind of get like a high angle on that, and then if I can get a good line of sight to where I could hit one or two of them with the the explosion. You could probably get these uh, two right here. They are both behind cover, uh, so that's going to factor into it. Okay. You well. Oh, sorry, I was going to ask if you called this doing computations. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if he calls it that, but... <laughs> yeah, it's, but gonna, it's it going is. to be uh, regular cover, so it's going to be a little bit harder to hit them, but mm -hmm. I have faith. Uh, by the way, those who haven't watched before, uh, Beck names his uh, gun after... names his guns after women he loves. So his first gun was named Kektal Mo Dektuk, and his new gun is called Computer, because 
he loves the he has a, a very uh, intimate relationship with the the ship's computer yeah she loves very much yeah her style <laughs> right um oh, so okay so yeah he'll just get up on that okay and uh level computer and just launch a uh plasma blast now. okay uh, so this is this is at the the two uh, these two here. Yes. So that is going to be uh, innocent brown coat and some red shirt. Yes. No, we've killed them before. Destroy them. Keep them going to be killing them again. Very yeah. familiar names. So yes, uh, uh, they, they're 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 both kind of uh, uh, ducking behind rocks. Uh, they have uh, sort of weird odd shaped crystalline spears uh, and knives. Uh, uh, sort of uh, on their body, and 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 they're holding these sort of uh, these things. That they're glowing slightly, um, very very strange looking. But uh, the rest of their body is kind of amorphous. Occasionally, you will see shapes. Uh, you know, uh, representative. You get the the f- sort of a Frankenstein head. So this is Frankenstein man. Uh, uh, innocent brown coat is Frankenstein man, and so on and so forth. Yeah, well, they all look the same through the s- sniper sight on my. That fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, okay. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh, give me, give me your shot. Roar. Uh, okay. So I rolled a four, which is a fifteen. Fifteen. Um, it blasts on off of the rock and uh, it tears a good chunk out of it. And the rock shakes and dust flies. Um, but you managed to hit the cover that they were hiding behind. Darn it! I'm rusty. I know we just had a fight, but for some reason it feels like it's been quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to Will, Captain Will, right. Will Dean. Will Dean. All right. Uh, I'm. How tall is this object? What is that exactly? Um, that is just sort of a, uh, a, a, a a series of stalactites. So it's it's actually you can see through them. Okay. Um, uh, but but they do provide partial cover. Uh, I'm gonna run over here, get kind of behind these stalactites. Okay. And I'm gonna try to do a tricky trick shot between them. Okay. I'm gonna be like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So you just you just gotta. Yeah. yeah behind the behind Which the slats. Which one's coming from? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm yeah. gonna shoot Whippy Whippy McWhippers. Uh, uh, Whippy McWhipperson, you Which mean is, Emperor Riptide? Oh, that's a great. He's name. an emperor. More like <laughs> Emperor Whiptide. Ah. Oh, thank you. Baby, whip. Baby. That one's for you. Both of these themes work really well for a mud person. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they really do. <clears throat> so, uh, sleight of hand. Uh, Emperor Riptide has no cover, because Emperor Riptide needs no cover. Emperor I'm... Riptide is cover. He's, his people are covered behind him. Yeah. All right. Sleight of hand check is going to be pretty impressive. OK. Uh, that's going to be a 36. Holy 36 shit. is going to be enough. Um, so Into that. <laughs> uh, uh, so you can see they, they have they have kind of little beady, drippy eyes. Um, and you can see them tracking the gun. You put it over here, he's like, mm, wait, mm, I don't know. Uh, Gorn! <laughs> <laughs> All right, hit me with your roll. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, oh, that's not great. <laughs> not super. Well, the first one was good. Yeah, uh, 12. Energy, uh, this is an energy-based weapon? <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, it's a miss. Oh, <laughs> you miss with the 36. Just oh, wait, like, what is, wait, what is, what is the, do you get a bonus to hit with the, uh... uh I think it's just bonus damage. I, mean, you, uh, that, I think that's right, yeah, it is a bonus yeah, damage. Yeah, trick attack, yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, if I hit him, it's extra. But. Okay. You're, you're really good at getting a really high roll on the yeah. trick attack yeah. and then missing with it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is there an ability where you can uh. swap your scores? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's, he sees this. the, he sees the spark happen and goes... <laughs> Did you miss? <laughs> Don't just kill the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now the muckmen shamble forth. Um, uh, so Emperor Riptide uh, is going to two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, kind of get an angle. Uh, she sees that this uh, tall, terrifying-looking Kasata is standing in the open. Grr. And he. Is going to throw his spear at you. Okay. I hope you miss. <laughs> Emperor Whiptide whips it forth. 
<laughs> oh, I wish I could keep that. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, uh, thank you. Dan Tharp, oh. if you are still oh, in the oh, chat. Look at that. Gave this to me at Gen Con. Uh, it's really nice. It's so nice. And I, I, I don't know if these are available for purchase or not, or they're if they on, just go. Uh, um, uh, campaign coins, because I have one also. They're on campaign nice. coins? Yes. Oh, how strange. They made them. Oh, wow. Okay, well, thank you, campaign coins. Also, friends of we the show. We love campaign uh, coins. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, yes, but thank you, Dan Tharp, for giving me this. I told you I'd use it on the stream, and damn it, I did. We made it happen. Um, 13 plus. That does not sound good. Uh, nah. It hits a 23. Oh boy. Uh, against your, uh, this is gonna be your kinetic armor class. Okay, great. I'm a 24. You're 24! <laughs> yeah. Holy cow! Okay, uh, uh, yes, the, yes. The, the whip goes uh, uh, sailing and uh, crushes, crashes into your armor. Uh, noisily, it Ooh. splinters into a thousand crystalline bits, but it does not penetrate. Coming um, for you next. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this is happening. And he goes, but. Gar! <laughs> Dang it. Are you sad? You said it, buddy. <laughs> he's very emotive. Yeah, uh, he well, is. He doesn't even really need to speak our language. He's very communicative. Yeah. So, down. I Lego, sense you're you disappointed. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. You can do it like that. Uh, you won't be feeling that for long. <laughs> Next up uh, is uh, uh, Castles and Chemo. A, Castles, and B, Chemo. First and last name. Uh, Castles and Chemo is going to, uh, you know what? Uh, he's going to hold fast there and just chuck his spear at uh, the big scary lizard standing on top of the rock. That's There's me! No cover. Nah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a far throw. <laughs> <laughs> they are very strong! <sighs> um, and it goes, yeah, you, you do notice they, they fire with great velocity. They're able to kind of whip themselves. Uh, 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 Fantastic, for, oh, no, Mr. Fantastic, that's that dude's name, uh, style. Back, muck and cover. <sighs> It's a 28. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, no, that, right. that hits. No, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, with crazy, uh, uh, crazy supernatural speed, uh, the spear goes uh, uh, flying at you and uh, digs into your uh, uh, chest region. And, oh, boy! And sinks a couple <laughs> inches into your thick vesk skin. Oh, that was a good one! <laughs> doing uh, a whopping... <laughs> Uh, eight plus point. fourteen points of damage. All oh, right, Boosh. formidable, formidable. Squash. Oh, gar! And innocent brown coat looks over, nods his head, and goes, "Gar." He's getting next because now it's innocent actions. brown coat's turn. I Two. literally did not join this team for you to have all die on me. <laughs> uh, I literally simple. did join the team for that reason. <laughs> innocent brown coat taking taking a page. Uh, uh, clambers up on top of this rock. Um, uh, he is uh, he is the the biggest and buffest, uh, and also probably the dumbest uh, of this squad. And he, Roar! but he's got little daggers, uh, 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 little crystalline daggers <laughs> that he takes, oh. and then he uh, oh, he whips cute. out, and he's gonna he's gonna go after the captain. Okay. My stuff's falling apart. Good choice, good choice. Robert. Oh my god, I'm rolling hot tonight, ladies uh -oh. and gentlemen. Uh, it's Come 28. on, partial cover. Come on, partial cover. 28. You, you, you get a plus two for car partial cover. Okay, 28. Kinetic? Kinetic. It's not going to matter. It's going to connect, because uh, it's going to be 26 with partial cover is my, yep. my KAC. So. All right. He hits you. Boom! Oh, for another 14 points of damage. Oh, we need some adversity to overcome right now. <laughs> 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 that feels right. That feels right. Yeah, it feels Did right. you build the encounters correctly? No. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. What is a CR? Um, and, and he's uh, uh, the last but not least. Uh, 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 this is some red shirt is going to some red shirts. He's shifty. You can tell. Uh, the, he's just shifty, mudman. Um, and so, right. not going to advance, not going to retreat, just gonna kind of stay here and, and, and lob things. So he's also going to uh, toss 50. a. Um, it is. He has like the kind of the curl discs. It's like a little a little ultimate frisbee. Cool. Oh, I know what that's called, but I can't remember. Um, that's fine. He gets a nineteen. <laughs> 19 doesn't hit. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Uh, so yeah, it, 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 it's a very it's a very poor throw. Uh, I, I hate to I hate to bag on some red shirt, but I think he is sort of the weakest right. uh, of the squad members. And, and, and the whole rest of the squad just like sees him like, Ugh, and it doesn't work, <laughs> and they're just like, that's only gonna make you more Gar. Red shirt. <laughs> Every different. day it's Garin. Wow. Um, who's not some Gar? Who's not surprised? <laughs> 
And <laughs> this quick little uh, about reptile. The dinosaur. This I'm just going to sort of estimate uh, the speed. Um, but it is stalking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, rapid style. Clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, and uh, we're going to move on to Twill. Hey. Twill, you've waited so patiently, yes. and I'm glad that you were able to have your first combat turn down. Thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm going to move uh, to the cover right next to you, uh, Beck. Okay. Here? Uh, yeah, and uh, as a quick action, I'm going to use my... Um, uh, I have an Android slot for a quick draw. I'm going to pop out my uh, Sonic pistol. Oh, it looks cool. Thunderstrike. Uh, and I'm going to take a shot at uh, Dum Dum. Wait, is your Sonic pistol? Dum Dum Innocent Brown Coat? What? Okay. Your, is your Sonic pistol called Thunderstrike, or is that a move you can do? It's thunder, It's Sonic pistol, comma Thunderstrike. Got it. That's the classification. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Uh, sorry, what was Dum Dum's name? Uh, uh, Innocent Brown Cut. Innocent Brown Cut, I'm sorry. So dumb. Dum 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 Dum. That's the Dum Dum. You are left. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, and then also I'm going to make Nothing uh, like his namesake. Make an attack. Uh, ooh, that's going to be a 26 to hit. 26 is going to nice. smash nice. into right. Innocent Brown Coat. Nice. 8 plus 3. Come Innocently. On. Uh, only 6 points of sonic six damage. 6 points of sonic damage, okay. Uh, and that is my turn. All right. Uh, he vibrates, uh, uh, and little bits of, of, of muck go flying. He goes, Gar! <laughs> Gar! 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 The first thing you said was super friendly, the second thing was pretty offensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Signals, that signals. was awful. Watch your mouth make signals here. It's We're a very trying to watch language. our language here. Uh, so top of the round, we go yeah. back to Mira, Riata. Jisoo, Jade, Clan, Ren, Hasbain, Seventh of the Line of Durrell. Okay, so she's got Desert Stride, which means she can move through non-magic, uh, difficult desert, hill, or mountain range at full speed. Okay. So if I was trying, can I use that so, like, what is this? Like, what you I have like a that? stellar rushy type thing, don't I you? I also do have that. So basically, my my intent right now mm-hmm. is to go after this guy, but to go around this thing right here, so I can use it as cover in case this guy comes towards me. Is that a thing I can do with the knowledge that I have desert stride? So whatever terrain that is will technically not impede me. Uh, so yeah, this is this is kind of a, a, a rough terrain area, okay. sort of uh, this this brown thing. Yeah. So uh, that would slow you down. But if you have desert stride, sure, we'll say we'll say uh, okay. that you can use that cool. to. Uh, uh, your your long, nimble Kasata legs. Yes. Um, and so you want to go after the dinosaur? Yeah, he seems to be hiding, and I don't like that. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yes, that's what I said. Also, saying. I'm setting up a yeah. shot for you, Will. I hope you take notice. Uh, what what is the what is the range on your? Are you going to attempt to stellar rush or? Oh uh, yes, I, I would like to stellar rush, uh, okay. but I don't I don't think I can get close enough. Can I get close enough to hit him with my solar mm-hmm. weapon? Is that a possibility? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 30, 30, 30, 30. 30. 30. 40. 45. It's gonna be about forty-five. No, I only feet. have I only have thirty. Uh, wait, no, stellar you can't, rush. You don't get more with the stellar rush. No, I don't think I pull do. Out the book. Yeah, pull out the book, Dan. Okay, great. <laughs> I might, I might, that might, it doesn't say here that I get more. Okay. It says charge without penalties. It's eating right through it. Charge. So a, a charge, I believe, is double your move, right, Dan? Uh, yes, charges two times your move, and oh, then beautiful. you can. Yeah, thank you. So have an attack at the end of it, but that's minus two to the attack. Oh, beautiful. Still a rush. Rules. Um, um, that's like the one uh, <laughs> combat action. Okay, then I know. yes, I would like to stellar rush, and then I would like to um, attack with my uh, oh. Solarian weapon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, weapon. yeah, it's a charge without penalties. This is okay, the range. great. Mm. So my stellar rush, because of that, I can roll three. I just, I just get it, right? I believe. Yeah. What? What? My solar rush, I d- it just it just happens. Regardless. Yeah, it just happens. You still have to uh, yeah. attack though. Yeah. Okay, great. So when you are attuned or fully attuned, you can substitute a bull rush uh, for the melee attack at the end of the charge. Whether or not you succeed the bull rush, the target takes two d six fire, reflex half. This damage increases by one d six for six level. You are six level. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I have just rolled. So I'm rolling to hit with my solar weapon. So Correct. that means I get a twenty four in that. 24. 24 hits. Okay, great. I'm really glad it does. Because I'd be yeah, it's nice to have somebody competent uh, in this combat. So. Yeah! Um, Welcome. <laughs> and, and, and don't forget, you, you will get a plus one to your damage because you are photon yes. attuned. Yes, I'm also attuning again, so I'm at two. Uh, you're, you're at two, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm rolling I'm sorry, damage. You, get, you get a plus two because you're level six. Uh, d- oh yeah! Plus two damage. Yeah. Okay. The book. That for a second, baby. <laughs> um, okay. So, so the rolling... yeah the the uh, thyrophorian uh, dinosaur uh, who 
uh, has a little little name tag uh, yeah. around. It's it, you know it's just got like one of those one of those collars on. Yes. And the name tag says, uh, wait, hold on, Lady Imago. Lady Imago. Dinosaur's a lady. Love that. Garn, garn, garn. Okay, so I'm rolling, oh I'm rolling three for my stellar rush right now. Okay. Um, because that just is going to happen regardless. So that's a 12 plus 5. That's a. Uh, oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, it's a whole lot of damage. But you okay. um, It's great. So that's 17. And then also. Uh, my stellar rush? Yes. For, that's my stellar rush. And then oh, I'm my sorry, that's a bull rush. Weapon yeah, yeah, also. Gets a uh, 17. So that was what? The 17 plus 17. 17 times 2. Someone do math for me. 34. 34. 34 you points of damage. Plus two, 36. There you go. There you go. Oh, <laughs> my. Nice. come alive at level 6 they by do. a lot. So they welcome do. back, Mira. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a a, a worthy addition things. to the crew, one would think. Um, so yes, you wreathe yourselves so. in <laughs> photon flames. Yes. You sparkle with energy. Uh, uh, the Solarian weapon leaps to uh, a <coughs> life uh, at the at the end of your fist, and uh, from with, one lady to another. <laughs> yeah, with your, your your long legs start spinning. Uh, uh, What's, what's the uh, a roadrunner style? Yeah. Um, and, uh, <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> and you go forward and you. Pick, 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 pick. Um, <laughs> no, you, you rend a gash uh, in, in the dinosaur's uh, uh, arm. Uh, shoulder goes limp, but it's, you know, it's. And just blood across goes spraying everywhere. The dinosaur. I'm into it. Yeah. As long as it doesn't ready. spray on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll get yours. I'll get mine. 36. Okay, 36. <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> Forgot how much damage you guys can do. Yeah. I'm not oh, wait, mask but because I used it at the end of this, the Stellar Rush, isn't it actually, <clears throat> that, those two is, that two is negated, right? Negated? No, no, it's added to your damage. Yes, but then also it's minus two because I did. Minus two is charge. to the attack roll. Yeah, not to the damage. Oh, okay, great. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you you were well yeah. over uh, okay. awesome. the, uh, the armor class of that creature. So, um, so yes, congratulations, Mira uh, does yay. a tremendous I amount of damage. I think if you, you use go. the charge, you also have minus two AC until the next turn too. Oh, is that true? unless uh, it says without it penalties? Without, it does say without penalties. Then you're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Solarians. Get yourself a Solarian, man. <gasps> Get yourself a Solarian. Believe in the destruction of the universe. <laughs> and the creation. It's necessary. And the creation, I guess. But also the destruction <laughs> of the universe. <laughs> All right. Okay, so next up we have Mr. Noel Bava Beck. All right. Um, okay, so because shooting didn't work, mm-hmm. and he's sad about that, yeah. he's like, oh, screw it, I'll do it myself. <laughs> and uh, so he is going to... Um, Jump down off of this and okay. head into a point where he has a line of sight to Jar Jar Binks. Okay. Let's see, lady. You got this, Dan. You want to go this way or this way? Uh, to, towards the middle. Okay. And then when he has like a full line of sight for uh, at, towards Jar Jar Binks. Uh, do you care he, that you're not in cover? Uh, no. Uh, he's just, he's going to, he pulls his Dojko out and kind of like does a flippy thing and like gets down into a, a like runner start position <laughs> and just rock and then does the full charge towards him. All right. All right, let's do this! Ah, right. For you, sir. <laughs> okay, some, and, and this is against some Anime red shirts. As we've mentioned noises. before, not exactly a credit to uh, the muckmen, uh, you know, species, <laughs> but... He does his best. He threw a disc at me! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hit! <laughs> That's the right. worst part. That's why you'd be mad at him, is because he's the only one that like, he didn't hit you. Right, exactly. That's not what you want. The other guy stabbed me, and that Unwor- was great. Yeah, that's right. Unworthy. This guy's unworthy. Yeah. Okay, Frack so that. I that's will uh, I will hit him with my Adoshko. <laughs> okay. Adosh. Um, which is... Uh-oh. That's not great. I, yeah, I, I think it's close enough to not being cocked. So yeah, this is. I, I I don't believe they get cover uh, bonuses for when you're in melee combat. Is that correct, Tim? Yeah? I'm sorry, we were passing notes to each other. Would you say? <laughs> uh, there's no there's no cover in uh, melee combat. Uh, I don't think so. Combat? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Good choice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I so that is a six, and I get a plus nine on my Doshko attacks. So is this an energy or this is uh, just a uh, yeah? It, it's just it's analog. It's analog. So, so what's what's the damage type? What's what's the yeah. letter? 
at the it's end. It's P. Yeah, it's physical. P. So that is that piercing. is uh, right. Uh, piercing. So that's connect. So that's fifteen. Fifteen. Might not hit. It does not hit. I'm rolling bad. Yeah, I I'm know. Pretty bad. It sucks when you don't have re rolls, doesn't it? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have some re rolls, but you well, you could use, you could use a table re roll. I'll use. I. I, I All have right. Table no, he's, yeah. he's got a couple of his own. You do have a couple of your own. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'm. All right. We are we are breaking in the, protest because yeah. I don't like re rolls. <laughs> But thank you for giving them to me. Yes. And but thank you again to Paizo for... All right. That's significantly better. Okay. Um, so that's 14 plus 9, which is a 23. 23, 23 is going to hit quite, All right. quite capably. <laughs> Hurrah. Uh, then I'm going to do uh, 1d12 plus 8 damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which is a 17. 17 is good. 17 is very, very Take good. Take that, some red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Gar, 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 gar. Gar to you! <laughs> uh, 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 hold on. We're all trying uh, the language. Math now. is so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's gar, gar. You said, wait, you said 16 or 17? 17. 17 points damage. I am Steve Rogers. I am Steve Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, it is a nasty cleaving blow uh, uh, that, that you actually cut the entire way through uh, the muck man and, and, and it passes through as if his body was just a, uh, a, you know, there was no bones or anything inside of it. But you see some kind of goo, some different colored goo uh, Gross. seeping out. <laughs> and he goes, Gar! You should have tried harder. I'm ready to move on over to Will, Captain Will. All right. Um, Who's playing peekaboo behind a bunch of stalactites. Yeah. Or are they stalactites? Are they no, they're growling? stalactites. Uh, <laughs> Stop pronking around. All right. Um, so I'm going to reach in my pocket really fast and okay. pull out my ring. Slide my Your ring? ring? Yes. Ring of the invisibility. Ooh. We got that from Snorri Bears. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Snorri Bears. One of our earlier, yeah. I didn't um, even mention him in the recap. Sorry, Snorri Bears. <laughs> Snorri Bears. He was... <laughs> He was not important. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I want to come out here, uh, get uh, this fellow's attention, uh, Emperor Whiplash. Okay, Emperor Riptide. R Whiptide. <laughs> <laughs> or Whiptide, yeah. Right. So uh, I'm going to get his attention, slip the ring on. Okay. To just hopefully confuse everyone. He's, he's very easily confused. He's a proud man. Um, he plays it by the book, but he is confused very easily. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to cover some ground here. Okay, let's move this beat. Because another whip kind of reforms out of his hand. Okay. Terminator oh. 1000 oh, really? style. Oh, crap. Okay, so I'm going to try to get behind him. Um, is is putting on the ring going to be like, is that going to be a standard action or is that going to be kind of like a. I think it's a swift, swift action? action. All right. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. Especially if you were like prepared for it and you're just like, oh, look at me. Whoop. Whoa. <laughs> the whoop, whoop, whoop. What's happening? And uh, I, oh, man, how long does that last again? I should have written it down. I forgot. I think I can only use it once per day, yeah. but it lasts a minute, I want to say. Okay. Well, if you're going to make an attack, it probably wears off. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's, 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 it's as, as the invisibility spell, so. Okay. <laughs> well, I I mean, I want to make an attack, so. Yeah. I think it's cool enough. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could get under some better cover. Actually, hold on. Um, if I do this instead, like, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. At least, like, I can get here, hopefully, and then I'm covered from these guys anyway. Ah, okay, so, yeah. So I'm going to get a little cover here, and I'm uh -huh. just going to shoot this guy in the back of the head. Uh, shoot uh, Emperor Riptide? Oh, yeah. Emperor Whiptide? Oh, yeah. All right, what? cool, and I, I assume it's going to be a trick attack? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah, so this is probably the stealth, then. Uh, oh, yeah, stealth would be, instead of... Would be of, the yeah. one that makes most sense to you me. You can't sleight of hand a trick when they can't see anything. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, yeah. So let's, let's stealth it up. Stealth it up. That's going to be an 18. 18? Um, 18? Oh, shit. What is the, um, the, the CR? <sighs> so, uh, I used to know this rule very well because you did always did too. this, but... Um, uh, uh, okay, trick attack. Uh, uh, trick attack. DC equal to 20 plus your target CR. So since you did not get above 20 and you don't know the target CR, it didn't work. Well, you know... So he, he tracks you. Oh, he tracks you? Uh, yeah, he goes... Mm. <laughs> Gar! I'm not tricky at all. <laughs> you know what that means, though? If I'm not tricky, that means I'm definitely going to shoot him, though. Yeah. So I, I, that's good. This should be successful. I like to imagine the ground is kind of soft and you leave very clear footprints. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He did like, say it was moss. It is mossy. So, yeah. Yeah. so yes, yeah. he's able to see, he's What's able to kind of track it and go. What's, 
car. Still, he must be a little confused that I disappeared for a second. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an well, equal parlor trick. <laughs> yeah, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Emperor Riptide, he's not an idiot. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> Uh, right. So yeah, you're behind, or he's he's not in cover, so you got a good shot on him. Twenty two. Twenty two is, is a hit. Good. <laughs> Emperor Riptide. Riptide. Oh, palpable hit. Mm. Very palpable hit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not palpable at all. <laughs> it's gonna be a a mean feisty four. <laughs> feisty four points of damage. Well uh, done, my man. Uh, oh, Will. Oh uh, wait. Oh, at least he's flanked now, anyway. So. Yeah, you really need that trick attack in order to ramp up your damage. That's, I really That's kind of your boy. It's crucial. It? Yeah. Unfortunately, I can do one or the other. You can either hit or you can trick attack. Let me brighter days, you guys. Okay. Uh, uh, moving on over to the Muckman Strike. <laughs> Muckman. Where are we at, Muckman? What's life like? A muck, for you? a muck, a muck, a muck. <laughs> I okay. That. I that. Mm. Oh, um, is it? I can I say? I can I say that I'm tuning? Uh, yeah. Too late. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you tune photon. We're we're not. Uh, we're friendly here. You know, we no. let people make mistakes. We're, we're using tournament level rules. <laughs> <laughs> Should have declared that before the end of your turn. Um, so yeah, he he uh, like I said, his arm sort of forms into jagged little thorns, and psh, a, a, a spike forms up, and then the hand. Forms at his elbow and lifts the uh, the, the thorn whip out triumphantly, cool. um, and uh, he sort of comes with a backhand and charges at you. Um, I never scared. Yeah. Whips his whip forth. Hmm. Oh, I keep rolling an eighteen, but I didn't get it this time. Because um, <laughs> uh, uh, I rolled a twenty. And it's uh, gonna hit a twelve. <laughs> No. Okay. That's not gonna do it. <laughs> and, 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 and it shatters against your armor. Which is all blasty lit up and cool looking. Yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and it kind of melts in it. Yeah, it, it, actually, it does kind of melt. It, it, like, when it, it like hisses almost. Like it was made out of ice or something, but it sure doesn't look like ice or act like ice. Is he messy, at least, Ooh. though? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's messy. He's yes. he, He's been sprayed with sort of shards. Liquid, uh, liquid crystal. <laughs> You don't want to get that on your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, no we always come out of combat and everyone just looks fine, <laughs> unless they look took damage. Except Captain Will is yes. always covered. <laughs> yes, <God>. good yes. <laughs> viscera. <laughs> um, uh, what are you going to do, Castles and Chemo? You're in a weird spot right now, man. Uh, you got a murderous Vesk to your left. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Let's let's just do this move. Uh, so Castles and Chemo, um, probably the most tactically sound. Uh, member of this crew. Um, he's going to run. <laughs> he's going to run! We are outgunned! Gar, 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 gar! Um, no, he's going to kind of go over here, kind of get in partial cover. Um, this is only going to be plus two. And um, he, is, water he is going to... What is the weapon that I said? Oh, yeah, he has spears. <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, he, he he grabs spears that were sort of a, a part of his leg and, and whips it at uh, Captain Will, um, who is... You're going to have a nice. plus... Four for being in cover over there. Hooray. But you know what? I have a good feeling about this. Nah, probably not though. <sighs> nope. Twenty. Nice. Um, it uh, it goes sailing uh, off in the distance, and disappoint despondently, Castles and Chemo says, "Gar." Um, <laughs> wow. Gar. <laughs> uh, uh, I think he may be your best written character so far. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's great. So um, he's got the right quip. A great inspiration. I met actually, well, no, I've met half of these people at, at Gen Con. So. We, uh, Castles and Chemo was at Gen Con. Yeah, he was at Gen Con. Yeah, he's, he's there every year, man. He's great. Check out his foundation. He's a you know solid dude. Good guy. Um, uh, good guy. Yeah, good guy. Good guy. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, we're going to move on to Innocent Brown Coat. Uh, Innocent Brown Coat uh, uh, forms a uh, uh, a massive hammer. Uh, out of his chest, and he kind of pulls it forth, and it sort of sprouts into a muck, and he raises it over there, and, Gar! and uh, uh, try, attempts to bring it down upon your skull. All right, let's do it. See, now I'm not rolling well. 16. This um, thing don't hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. going to have to take more than that if you want to... To hit him back. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Although it seems like my my AC is like lower than pretty much everyone else on the team, which is sort of surprising. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna need to find it. Well, you I'll do ha- you out. do have your uh, force field, 
Um, oh, I forgot about I those. I just remembered Look. now. And Would have ameliorated some sheet. of your damage. Uh, uh, we'll remember that next time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, he got a force field from computer. Is mm -hmm. a, a gift. Got the little like Aeon Stony thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. that's yeah. exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, he, he he brings it down and it just kind of smashes against. Yeah, are you wearing a helmet? Yes. Okay. Wait. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Smashes against your helmet. You feel a ring, but no pain. No, that was come kind of, on. That was kind of a weak one. Uh, uh, don't know what happened there. My uh, expectations were set so high for this fight early on. Yes, and and this is this was the burly one, so uh, a little bit nervous. And but Mr. Sneaky, some red shirt. Um, uh, he's he's going to use his little. He's he's going to form a little crow blade, and he's going to stab at you with it. Okay. He's just going to jab at you. Ah! Go for it. <laughs> he doesn't hit anything, but it looks impressive. He's like, go, little guy, go. Gar! Very hairy. I appreciate your effort. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, we have Lady Imago. Yeah. Or Imago, uh, in my mind, is how I would say it. Hey. Um, Lady Imago. Lady Imago uh, has. Her, her her arm is dangling by her side. Um, it's always sadder when it happens Yeesh. to animals. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Mira um, doesn't care. But she kind of crouches down and she whips her tail at Ooh, you. Oh boy! I whip my tail back and forth. I whip, I whip my, my tail, tail back and forth. I whip my tail. And <laughs> using your uh, uh, super hyped up uh, reflexes, uh, you just jump over it. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna right. go, Let's play jump rope. Yep. Yeah. And I couldn't think of uh, Lady Imago goes, oh, that usually works against people. The, the dinosaur talks? Wait, is that, did you say that? The dinosaur has a better vocabulary than the muck man. Yeah. <laughs> Dinosaur's the, the translator. The entire fight just stops. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you're right behind me. Like, yeah. What happened to Gar? <laughs> Now I want to roll yeah. diplomacy against the you guys. Dinosaur. You guys win. No. Join us. You you parlayed with the wrong individual. That's, <laughs> that's on nice you guys. On can, can, um, can can the dinosaur talk? Yeah. The dinosaur can talk. The dinosaur can talk. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Obviously. Right. I mean, like, great. So let's keep. Do you guys read the Alien Archive? It's, it's an uh, Alien Archive oh too. Oh boy. Okay. He's right. This uh, is our mistake. I mean, can we make that canon? Can we make that like the first time Mira hears it talk? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like. Oh, yes. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, Gar. That usually works on people. Gar, Gar? <laughs> Gar, she's like trying to... <laughs> Gar? Cots its head quizzically, okay, raptor okay. style at Here you. Here we go. Uh, th but let's let's move on, Twill, yeah, it is your turn. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'm gonna do something. Let's just go past that. I'm yeah. gonna do something that we never do on this show, and I'm gonna uh, make a full attack. So I'm gonna make two attacks. Full Here attack. You, you know what that my is, right? Yeah, yeah I can't use it. it. I'll do it you can't? No, because the Yoshiko is unwieldy. Can make oh, yeah. Be careful. That sucks. Mm -hmm. so I'm That's gonna why I never take full attacks. Interesting. I'm gonna stay put. And I'm gonna take two shots on uh, innocent brown. Two shots at innocent brown coat. Brown coat yeah. Uh, innocent brown coat. That is the gentleman standing on top of the rock, so yeah. he is not in cover. Yeah. But these are each at minus four because mm -hmm. I'm doing two attacks. That's true. So these are one, two, plus uh, is three. Is this KAC or EAC? Uh, it's going. To, well, that's gonna be a miss anyway because I rolled a two on the first Dude. one. Dude. So it doesn't matter. And then the second one is uh, nine. 10, 11, 12. That's probably a miss against EAC. 12. Uh, 12 is a miss. This is why I don't take full attacks. Here's my turn. Okay. <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, I'm going to uh, sit uh, here for another 40 minutes. A fusillade, <laughs> we learned something. fusillade of bullets. Uh, or you, you have an arc pistol, right? Uh, sonic. A sonic pistol. A fusillade of sound. A wall of sound washes over Innocent Brown Code. And he just seems to get stronger. It makes him matter. Oh, no. His little well, hit him. Frankenstein head <laughs> puffs up a little bigger. Um, and that's Crud! It. <laughs> Back to the top of the order, right. locked in mortal combat with a intelligent talking dinosaur, uh, uh, is Mira. Moral decisions. Twill? Mira. Overcome? Yeah? This one talks. Like Befriend more than Gar. It. Befriend it. Bef uh, do you know me? Its arms hanging off. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of bad things talk. Lots of bad things talk, precisely. I yeah. was about to supernova you, lady. Um, but give me one reason not to. What? <laughs> okay, I'm super <laughs> <laughs> Um, So I tuned to three. <laughs> we were just fighting. That was we short We were just fighting. Uh, uh, I mean, I, 
it's, it's like a six second round, right? Like yeah. I don't have that. Not really. Long to yeah, not a whole lot of time to talk and discuss. Exactly. Things, so yeah, I'm gonna. That's about what the exchange would be. Yeah. So what? Okay. Yeah. But we were fighting. We we are going to continue <laughs> fighting. Okay. Um. So I tuned to three. Okay. Um. I. You know, you're intelligent. I feel like I could probably get some information out of you. Damn it. Yeah, Dying, it dang it, pork it, broke it, whatever the... Pronk. Pronk. <laughs> yeah. Pronk it. We're going to okay. introduce pronk, I suppose. Uh, we are going to introduce It's a good pronk. swear word. Uh, it's a good uh, swear word. Uh, have a shirt. It's a substitute. <laughs> okay, I would like to... I'm just going to shoot it, honestly. Honestly, just shoot it. Wait, shoot it? Yeah, shoot it. With, 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 with uh, like, no, with my solar weapon. Yeah, I'll, I'll slash it with my solar okay. weapon. I was going to go supernova on it. Thought you were going to bring I'm, out your little pistol I'm again. I'm just terrified. That didn't do too well. I'm just terrified that I'm gonna kill it on accident. I'm gonna hit it too hard. It's a fight. I mean, that's, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can do non lethal damage. It's a minus two or minus four to your roll, but you can declare any weapon non lethal. Yeah, I wanna declare this non lethal. Um, okay. Because You'll this is the only a, intelligent the, creature we have here, so I would like to do is. some information extra extraction. Yeah. Um, this is character growth, everyone. We're not killing That's the thing immediately. I know, I'm, um, I'm baffled, frankly, but uh, I, I, like I have a question. Yeah. What question would you ask it? Mm. What question would I ask it? Like, well, I, I my, my, my question was literally, like, give me one reason why we should keep you sure, alive. Sure, but, like, let's say we, we capture it. Yeah. What do you ask? Give me one reason to keep you alive. <laughs> That's not a question. That's so, a, so you really just don't, want, you just don't want to kill it. No, no, no. I just, I just want to know if there's any useful information, and if it has any useful information, then we take that well, useful I, I like information, and, like and okay. then we decide. So this is a lethal not, weapon, yeah. or lethal damage with Good. a weapon that deals non-lethal damage. So if you desire yeah. to do non-lethal damage to this creature, you will be at a negative four to hit. Okay, yeah, I would like uh, to do that. All right. Um, but then I would using also... Using the flat of your solar blade. Using mm -hmm. the flat of my solar blade, I roll. I guess so. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> she's... Get with the hell. She's... Uh, <laughs> um, I get a 25. 25? With a negative 4. With a negative 4 to roll! I rolled an 18, but I get plus 11 to hit. God, you're a monster. Uh, All right, yeah. um, so yes, uh, that that does uh, that does uh, hit. Okay, great. So we're now gonna. So you to... you pronk him on the head. Her on the head. Yeah. Her, yes. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Um, and then Got I pronk. get uh, plus two on top of plus. That. That's that is right. So that um, <laughs> is a five plus six plus ten. That's a sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. Uh, it, and it, it is it is just sort of a, a straightforward bonk, and, and it kind of shirks flat and goes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me one reason to keep you alive. I say. What? If you keep saying that. <laughs> say <laughs> what again? Say what? One more time. <laughs> One more prong in uh, Again, that, that's going to be the church. What ain't that's no planet I ever heard of? <laughs> this dinosaur is confused as hell. Well, I guess that's not how it heck. Oh, heck. It was... <laughs> confused as prong. It's PG-13. Come on, Dan. Okay, uh, next up is no Baba Beck. He's your Baba. Becky is back to every witch. Look at her, trying to have a conversation with her. <laughs> um, so I will, um, this is kind of a, I, I'm going to, can you deadly aim with a melee attack? It doesn't say anything that makes you me think you can't. I don't, I don't see why not, honestly. Um, yeah. It, yeah. It's just that I think of aim as a uh, right. You gotta aim a sword. Yeah. Yeah, you can aim a sword. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. You strike your enemy's weak points and then deal more damage. I mean. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. So it seems pretty straightforward to me. I'm going to uh, just deadly aim. Okay. And so I, I just kind of take a little, you know, more time. I'm just like, all right, let's try and finish this. And uh, you know what? Let's keep on Doshko in this game. Yeah. Let's Doshko. <laughs> This, um, oh, this isn't a flame doshko. This is just like a regular. It's my regular tactical doshko. Tactical doshko. Which is sharpened point? to a nasty point. It's oh, it's, still, it's, it's not still like a laser, like a laser on the end, right? Oh, does it like, still? I don't I mean, know. I think so. It's yeah. physical damage. Sharpened to a nasty point with a laser on the end. Well, I think the pictures have lasers. Photons are pretty yeah, sharp when they're one by one. That's true. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't write it. Okay, well, this, good. Oh, this is oh, against. Not good. Uh, All right, I'm using another reroll. All right. We can't have failure on this stream. Oh, oh, that's like even worse. Oh. 
All right. Um, <laughs> and this is this is against the coward uh, in uh, some red shirt, yeah. Yeah, and that was a ten, so I miss. You miss. Uh, he, so he, he's poking at you with his curl blade. Stop! <laughs> stop! stop. That's, that's I mean, gar, 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 gar. No, stop! Gar! Stop! Gar! <laughs> Kill me or stop! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next up is Will. Uh, leave or get off the pod. That's excellent. Yeah. <laughs> That's excellent. Will. All right, uh, attune once more. Okay. That's right, we're charging up. Okay. You want um, to photon two at this point? Yes. Okay. Photon two. All right. Uh, uh, you were uh, sparkling. Uh, your 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 Solarian uh, armor is uh, just wrestling with energy, just, just waving and sending off heat. That's how I do. Getting hot. That's it's right. getting on you. It's getting hot in this underground cap. Do your thing, Cap. Cool. Uh, uh, I do. Do I have a flanking tactical advantage against? Uh, who do I have? Let's see. I this guy. Well, this guy. Um, do I have any flanking advantage? Flanking is only for melee. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I have. So just regular, no regular <laughs> arc ammunition. Yeah. I, are you okay? We'll just shoot him then. Okay. Not right, cool. Just uh-huh. shoot the guy with the thing. That just always shoot works. Shoot the guy with the thing. You know it. It works. Too few. <laughs> too few times. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, um. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna. So this is ranged combat and melee. Are there any opportunity attack? Opportunity I'm, I'm attack. To, I'm gonna move back. Are you gonna move back? Yeah. I'm gonna move outside. You can take a guarded step. Well, I, I've got mobility, so I have a way better chance okay. of not getting hit by this guy. Yeah. Well, so I'm gonna just do a regular move backy <coughs> times. Oops. There we go. I'm gonna get. I know this guy's coming though. But he does still get the opportunity attack on you. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, moti- yeah. Mobility. Uh, you get a plus four damage to your armor class against attacks of opportunity by through the squares. Okay. okay. What so, kind of cover is this? Hard, soft? Um, that is going to which one? Right here. Uh, yeah, this one. This one. That's going to be. Uh, that's going to be full cover. If you can get behind it. Okay. So he's going to take his opportunity of attack, Emperor Riptide will. Do it, I dare you. I dare you! <sighs> okay, so it's minus like, like four. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh, you, so you get a plus four. Yep. Uh, he rolled a 29. So I get a plus four? Yeah, you get a plus four. Uh, and nothing for cover because it's Because it's melee. So 29. That's like what he needed to hit you, right? Uh, exactly, yeah. It was, it was 28 to 29. Take your so. medicine, Captain. No! Oh. Eight, oh, it's another 14 points. That's all they do is 14 I points. Why do I even roll? Back safe, like, no, I have mobility. <laughs> <laughs> you needed a pretty good roll to hit you, sometimes uh, you to be uh, fair. Sometimes you gotta take risks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, he, he, he swipes at you and he manages to, to, to crush a, uh, a, a line of, uh, crush through your armor on your arm and it just blood starts seeping out and you go, oh shit. Nice. Okay. Attack. Sweet attack. Slide a hand. Slide a hand. He's a new captain. <laughs> Honestly, that's fine with Mira. Twenty. Come Twenty is not enough. <laughs> that's not enough again. Yeah. And Emperor Riptide has seen what you got. He's not impressed with he, me at all. He, he doesn't he like it. <laughs> I got to reevaluate. He's like, this is just I. This is just I, dog. Yeah, this is just okay. Randy Jackson reference. Okay, that's going to be a 19. A 19? And he has no cover? Nah, he's got no cover. All right, yeah, 19 hits. Finally. Hey, oh, you wait, proved so, your worth. So I can roll a fat four again. Right? I know, right? Yes. All right. Boom, that can, boom, that's boom, sneak boom, attack damage. Better. Okay, that's better. That's better. So that's going to be a nine points of damage. Nine that's points nine. of damage. Better. Better. Not great. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, one, one, once again, this, this sort of the arcs uh, of electricity uh, go through his body, tear through his body, little bits fall off, and he goes, Oh, Gar! Oh, Gar, indeed. Hmm. Gar! <laughs> um, but he's still standing. Uh, next up to bat is the Muckman Strike. Um, so, uh, He's going to, Emperor Riptide is just going to sort of pivot behind, it's a, it is an actually a big mushroom. So it's going to give him uh, some soft cover. Um, uh, and he is, uh, he's got his little whip and he's just going to fling it uh, uh, toward you. You are at a plus four because you were behind regular cover. Big miss. Uh, it's uh, it, it doesn't even it doesn't even get all the way there. Oh, he flings it over to me. He, he flings it over, but it bounces off of the mushroom and it just sort of uh, rumbles to a stop <laughs> and then 
uh, sinks into the moss. Well, I'm not impressed with him either. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty tough mushroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he, he didn't. He, his arm hit the mushroom. Oh, okay. It was just sort of a, you know, it was mm. it was comical, and he he would laugh about it if there wasn't, you know. <laughs> none of these other are. Guys He's the uh, other. None of these other guys can yeah. laugh. They'll get, they'll get in trouble. Uh, uh, Castles and chemo again. Uh, uh, a tactical mind. The one, two, three. Four, five, six. He's going to pivot over here. Uh, he is able to get a side shot on, on you, uh, and you are not going to have cover from that angle. Right. Uh, so this is just going to be a regular attack. Castles and chemo, you're an inspiration. And it hits a 20, which is probably not going to be enough, right? Nah. Okay. Um, moving on, the two guys, Jar Jar Binks and Frankenstein, also known as Innocent Brown Coat, <laughs> in some red shirt, uh, press the attack. Sounds like a First, it's gonna be no one. I love it. <laughs> it's gonna be Warhammer Man. He summons a second Warhammer. This time, it looks a little more, you know, like he got something wrong with the recipe the first time. <laughs> it looks a little more solid this time, and, and he this has is a it, better Warhammer. You know, yeah, he's like it's got to balance correctly. He finds the the, the fulcrum. Is that what it's called, Jesse? Help me out here. Oh, sorry, what? When you, when you <laughs> gotta find the middle part of it and it's a balancing like that. Oh, yeah, the, the fulcrum the is like the bouncing point yeah, for yeah, yeah. like a lever you use. So yeah, he finds the fulcrum first. Okay. Uh, Cause you know, you wanna make sure you have a balanced weapon. Yes. And it, honestly, it's great. And he's really happy. You see his eyes light up. And you know what, there, there's nothing like the look in someone's eyes when they, they really connect with Right, weapon. yeah, like like when they just created something like, and they're so uh, proud yeah. of it. Very mm -hmm. special. And it's just like, you know, you can't help but go, God, man, good I hope you. he hits. Yeah, <laughs> he does. He's, he, he, he croquet mallets uh, down at you and hits a 25. Yeah, that'll hit. Boing! Oh, man. See? We're just taking a little time. We're gonna be fine. Yeah. I'm so proud of him. Uh, <laughs> no, so does not do 14 points of damage, yeah, does 12 so points of damage. Uh, well, you know what? Bong! It was still a nice character connection. So. And don't, you have the force field. Uh, I, I'm not counting that for now. Okay. I have that off because I, I haven't been okay. paying attention to it. Yeah. So, yeah, mental. Block. I mean, it would be very dramatic to lose a character in the season premiere, but oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I've got 60 stamina and 48 hit points, so yeah. I, I'll be okay. Yeah. He's a big beefy boy. How much did I take? I uh, took uh, 12 points. All right. Mm -hmm. And All then right. uh, uh, some right. red shirt. All right. uh, All right. Obviously, does not have the skill in weapon making uh, that uh, Innocent Brown Coat has, but uh, you know, has a lot of terror, and so he's going to use that terror to strike. And he rolls a one. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, the the he's jabbing at you, and it just kind of falls out of his hand, and he's like, you know what? Uh... It, it just feels to me like. On the Muckman side of things, there's not an even amount of effort coming from each <laughs> yeah. team member. Yeah. <laughs> there's certain Muckmen pulling the other Muckmen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the spear Muckmen like are doing great. Us. I think it's an attitude <laughs> problem, along with everything else. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, you're, you're not far off, like man. I, I think that's that's fair. No, I, I think you know they fair. would agree. Honestly, I I even think uh, I even think that uh, uh, some red shirt would agree. No. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like, I'm just really not putting in the effort that I that I need to. Um, Oh, hey, there's, uh, there's a noise. I know there's noise going on in the background. <laughs> you can't always hear it. Uh, so, yes, uh, uh, Lady Imago sort of uh, uh, sort of rotates off to the side and is kind of like... <sighs> oh, so she retreats. No, no, she's circling. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Nah, and then all of a sudden she whips her tail out. Oh, boy. Let's play Jack. Out of nowhere. Oh. And hits a... You see the tail whip coming. 25. For which... For, this is against your kinetic armor class. Okay, I have, damn it, I have a 24. 24, all right, that hits. It's, 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 um, it's okay, one, boop, boop. Where, is, where, where are my D8s at? There you are. There you are, there you are my friend. Okay, uh, hits you for 18 points of damage. Right, pa! right. And uh, make a reflex save. Okay, my reflex save is, I'm guessing I'm, so I'm rolling D20. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold on, I got it. Okay, that's 15. What? Yeah. Okay, four. 19. 19? That's quite good. Quite good. Oh, okay. It's on a, uh, that's on a critical. Uh, so, no, you're fine. You're safe. Great. Okay. Uh, it, it, it whips along your leg. Uh, there are little spikes on the end, and it, it tears a hole out of your uh, thigh muscle. Okay. And uh, blood kind of flies. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not pretty. It's going to take, it's gonna, it, it, you know, you're going to feel that tomorrow. For sure. <laughs> That's um, okay. 
Twill, it is your turn. Twill feel things tomorrow. They won't. Oh, wow. Wow. Big words. Big talk from Mrs. Non Lethal over here. I like that. Twill is a little annoyed that they missed with both shots last time, so puts out a hand. Back, I'm sorry, and fires uh, three magic missiles at uh, Big Beefy Boy. Big Beefy Boy? Big Beefy Boy. So, All right. I don't understand why an apology is necessary. Well, because I'm saving you. Oh, because you didn't aim at me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's 10, oh, 11, so 12, 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage nice. against uh, Innocent Brown Coat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. That does it. 13 points and brings him down to this much okay um How's he yeah. looking? he's looking he's looking okay uh, uh not not great um but definitely definitely staggered oh well there's a condition card for that oh oh <laughs> all right <laughs> got to be careful with the words i use yeah uh back to the top of the order mira all right so uh, is very very carry on the comms with us uh very very carry uh no it's not on the comms all right then i'm killing this thing okay <laughs> um, all right <laughs> That was their one chance. Um, to, to contact very, very Carrie? Yeah, oh. it, was, it was, It was. Uh, you know, I was gonna ask if there was any reason to keep this alive, but this thing just took a chunk out of me, so you know what? Revenge. There's no coming Prong back Prong you. Um, let's Stellar oh. Rush and then Supernova. Stellar Rush and then Supernova? Yeah. Um. <laughs> so I just roll 10, uh, to D6s for that. 10 D6s? Yeah, everything just goes. Okay. Because yeah. I don't have to. There is a, you do get a reflex. I do get a supernova. reflex save, but I am ready for that. Well, just on the supernova, damn. Yes. Damage. Right. Um, Come on. Keep, Come on, yeah. Yellow Dye. You've been good to me so far. Here you go. Yeah, I do need more sixes. Um, you gotta roll them all at once. Yeah. Those yeah. cosmic crit dice. Yeah. Okay. Buzz <laughs> Oh shit, oh, man. shoes. There's, There's like forty ones, ones in there. One, yeah. Two, yeah, I know, I hate it. Right? Literally four ones, four, seven, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. That's not very much. Feels like you can do more, huh? I feel it's like I can. I mean, you know what? I can re-roll. <laughs> ah! Oh no, it's a re-roll. Um, Rules go. are being broken. Six. six Don't six, tell Paizo. They'll be so mad at me. Oh no, you're in, in trouble. Watching us. <laughs> you're in trouble. Okay, that was a little I'm bit sorry, better. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is a ten. Um, a ten. Uh, and then another ten, so that's a twenty. Um, 10 plus 10 is 20. 10 plus 20 this is checks out. 20. Yeah, yeah. This, this, so far, so good. Years. Um, I keep checking with Jesse. Jesse, this is good. 25, okay. uh, yes. 31, okay. uh, 37. 37 points of damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what is In the DC uh, to your uh, save? Uh, the DC to my Stellar Rush is 14. The DC to my Supernova is also 14. 14? Okay. Mmm, yeah. reflex. This is a very quick dinosaur. I'm going to let you know that. Oh, but it's the dinosaur that missed its save. Yes! Uh, what was the damage again? 37. Um, 37. <gasps> really? Is it exactly 37? Yeah. Because yeah. I made the clerk's reference. That's <laughs> oh, yeah, in a row? Um, yeah, uh, so so Lady Imago, the, the interesting thing, obviously an intelligent creature. Yes. Um, but, but at the same time, it's always fun to kind of watch fireworks. Like there's that there's that <laughs> yeah. little there's that little dinosaur inside of you that just like imagines going to the park. It's like oh, and so she sees the bright light. And she goes oh, oh. Ah! Ah! and she gets Indiana Jones uh, yes. to the ground, yes. peels back, and you see an amazing fossil that you know will probably be here. Uh, for centuries until it is discovered okay, no, by one, a... we are absolutely oh. going to eat that dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that the second dinosaur you've killed on this on the show, or did you kill the other dinosaur? I think we both killed the dinosaur. I think we both okay. Yeah, yeah, oh. you killed it. The... If crest eaters technically count as dinosaurs, <laughs> right? Which, which why not? Oh, lizardy. In a sense, we all killed the I feel, dinosaurs. I feel for yeah, crest yeah. Team effort. Mm -hmm. I had a baby crest eater pet when I was little. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's why that. you know, this one I did not care for at all. So yes. canonically, we are eating this dinosaur after. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the great 100%. cycle. 100%. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yes, Lady Imago. Welcome to the great cycle. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I'm sorry, Lady Imago, if you're in chat and you're still watching. You're part of the great cycle. It's okay. 
And we're gonna okay. eat. We're You're gonna very eat dead. You. We're gonna eat you. It's gonna be great. <laughs> oh, and, and, and delicious <laughs> imago flavor. Speaking of new subs, thank you Dan Tharp uh, uh, for the hey. subscription. Thank you. You're you're a good man, and thank you for this. Gentleman and a scholar. Yeah, gentle a gentleman, beat scholar. At, l- at least one of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Probably so next both. up, speaking of gentlemen and scholars, Beck, it is your turn. All right. Um, you know what? I I, I kind of have a, a thing I've been doing, and I, I think I'm gonna keep that thing going, which is Doshko in some red shirt. Doshko in the Boshko. Oh, rowing your boat. Um, I'm rowing not gonna boat. use the deadly aim because I keep rolling low. Yeah. So that minus two to attack does not seem like a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here comes a twenty. Whoop! I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, okay, so that's a uh, nine plus nine, which is <coughs> eighteen. Eighteen against his kinetic armor class is a hit. Yay! Yeah. You got him! I hit! Poor little sum red shirt. And Just my little baby don't do nothing. I have so many copies of my character sheet, I and know. I've been like <laughs> looking at notes on various other ones, so I keep getting things mixed up. <laughs> I blame myself for that. Um, <laughs> it is. It's definitely your fault. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm the one who prints them off, so... Okay, so that's 1d12 plus 9. Oh my god. Uh, so that's 13 damage. 13 damage against poor some yeah. red shirt, okay? All right, uh, take that! Some red shirt is looking grim. Not looking happy about this, the current situation. It's like, why did I choose Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, right, we said, you said 18, how much was it again? It was, I, I don't remember anymore. Uh, uh, 14. 14, 13. okay, yeah. 14 it, was a, it was a 4 plus 9, right? Yes. Okay, so 13. 13, okay, cool. Uh, sorry, yeah, I, I don't know why. I, I forget it as soon as I'm writing it down. I'm like, oh, wait, there's supposed to be a number here. Okay, 13. Oop, very You're silly. Some red shirt not looking so hot, uh, but still up. Uh, Captain Will Dean of the starship Carnal Laser Brass I don't know. Carnal Laser Brass Very frustrated with my performance. <clears throat> I'm going to take my arc pistol. Hey man, don't be so critical. Come on. Yeah, I know, right? I'm too hard on myself. I'm my biggest critic. Well, actually, I'm not. Mira is my biggest critic. I'm my second biggest critic. You can't take that for me. My biggest critic is Mira. I would have to look at myself in the mirror every morning and say, I hate you. (laughs) (laughs) Be my biggest critic. All right. So I take my arc pistol, uh, slap it in my holster, and I'm going to pull out my new untested pistol. Ooh, <clears throat> which is just, a, it, it's just bullets. It's regular bullets, yeah. you guys. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's a semi-automatic pistol. Yeah. Wow, right. fighting hipster. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you have to bring it out and go Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's a weird noise. Uh-huh. It looks like a revolver. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to, uh, what am I gonna do? I need to shoot somebody. I'm gonna get behind. You gotta be shooting something. Gotta be shooting something. I'm gonna <laughs> get there so I at least have the cover from both sides. Mm-hmm. Now this guy is only in soft uh, or, or in partial cover, so he only gets a plus two. Okay. Um, and the other guy is in full uh, or in regular cover, so he gets a plus four. All right. Uh, I. We're working on uh, using cover in combat. If you couldn't mm-hmm. tell, by the way, uh, chat. So. I don't like getting flanked though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna against. The, the two points of whatever they are. Right. I'm going to go against So you just kind of kind of pivot around yes. uh, and, 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 and get down and, and mm-hmm. use use cover the way that yeah. It'll be, yeah, I would be intended. Down. I'm going to try to Pac-Man our enemies down that way. So Pac-Man. So brought to you by Covered California. <laughs> <laughs> are you in cover? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me a roll, sir. All right. Uh, trick attack. So slap the thing in. <laughs> Mm, okay. Yeah. As it's flipping, he's like, ah, pff, I've seen this before. But wait, it's a new gun. Is that a new gun? New gun? It's so shiny. All you hear is gar 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 gar. Oh, gar. Oh, hey, that's not good. That's not oh, great. gar. Oh boy. That's a gar gar gar. gar, gar. New gun. Uh-huh. Same old one. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, you bring it out. You you rack it back, but you don't rack it back far enough. Yeah. And so it's a little stove. It's a little stove pipe jam mm. that you're gonna have to clear. Also oh, jams uh, the whole thing. Not yeah. Even just the, okay. Yeah. You, you're pulling the trigger and you're like, like what the hell? You just look down the barrel. Don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really should have tried this gun. <laughs> really should have tried that gun in a non-combat situation. Yeah. First. But yeah, you really see it. You see it sort of blocking the slide. Uh, the, the the bullet you ejected. There was already a bullet in the chamber. You didn't realize this. Uh, so when when you ejected <laughs> it, it didn't it didn't eject all the way, okay. and so the slide can't push forward. It's, so you just got to clear that. It's so fresh that. from the plastic, so there's still a little white pull tab you have to pull out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 
Uh, well, so that went really well. So yeah, they, uh, what what they see is kind of you going, and uh, that's the, that's your six seconds. And I'm like, <sighs> Emperor Riptide, uh, 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 not impressed. He's going to he's going to uh, uh, tactically because he's got some tactics. My boy knows some tactics. Uh, oh wait, no, oh, this. Oh god, wait, hold on. What is going on back here? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I should probably deal with this. Gar! Emperor Riptide charges the scary Kasata. Beautiful. Raises his whip Come above his head. Bro. Gives a Gar battle cry. Come at oh, me, bro. Oh, oh, Come at me, bro. Hits an 18. Uh, against my KAC? Uh, yes. Uh, no, it's a 24. He does okay, not. yeah, he whiffs big. Uh, it just goes. Whew. And he goes. I jump rope. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's your move. That's classic. My um, classic. And so that is Emperor Riptide, Castles and Chemo. He, he, you guys are kind of locked in one of those, like, you know, snapshot sort of that you see. It's usually in the background of like a sci fi yeah. movie. You got the guys popping out of cover, firing off a couple shots. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, he is he is whipping his. I believe I gave him knives, and so he is. No, no, he has spears. That's right. He's holding the spear. Uh, what's his face? Had a knife. Right. Um, hits a nineteen, which misses. Um, croquet mallet man. Uh, really felt uh, uh, innocent brown coat. Really felt the good vibration of that. He's just gonna repeat himself and just start chopping down this big reptile tree. Uh, hits a twenty eight. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> Does 16 points of damage. All right, I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is nothing. Tank. And then poor some red shirt, uh, uh, looking fairly, fairly lean. Uh, uh, a lot of his body mass is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, his arms are kind of drooping in sort of that Popeye style. And he was a little pathetic already, so. Yeah, yeah, it's getting, <laughs> it's getting sad. It's almost heartbreaking. But he manages, he manages to form. It, like it's, it's not even like it's not even a full thing. It just has like a couple of prongs on it. It's like he's stabbing <laughs> you with a fork. And so he weakly. Slashes at you. Oh. Misses. <laughs> I was going to say, if this is a natural 20, he's like, oh, eat fork. I it's know. a vital organ. I was trying to do that so I'd build it up and it would be yeah. amazing, but no, he just. Hits it right in a wound. Some <laughs> red shirt is just so bad at fighting. <laughs> so am I today. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. He's, he's on just Captain Wilson. Just today. Okay. I'm usually back, pretty good. Back up to the top of the order. Okay. Wait. Mira. Oh, wait. oh, God, no. <laughs> no, look at you. You were right there. I yeah. just don't know how to read. <laughs> I'll put you over here. Maybe you should cast Sea Invisibility. Do do nerd burn. Yeah, nice one. Okay, what would you like to do? Two will. Two will. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Could I close this gap in forty? Would would you would you allow it or no? I'll allow it. All right, I'm gonna close the gap. But you better make your point quick, prosecutor. All right. Can I approach the bench? Yeah, I'm gonna approach the bench. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna use a new level two spell Ooh. called Inject Nanobots. Yes. Uh, concentrate key particles in your blood into tiny biological nanobots that you can inject with a foe with a touch. Uh, I make a melee attack against EAC. If I hit four D8 damage uh, and you become confused, uh, and you can uh, make a will save to uh, do things. Oh, wow. That didn't count. No one saw that. Yeah, yeah didn't, didn't happen. Stop. Didn't I, I saw okay. nothing. Uh, all right, so this is a touch attack. So I guess this would be my strength added to it. Uh, yeah. Melee so. attack. Mm -hmm. well, I don't have any strength. Uh, okay, uh, 16. Against uh, KAC? No, EAC. Against EAC? Yeah. Are so you sure? It, yeah, it says it right here on the card. I believe you. Okay, that... Barely hits. Yes. Okay. That barely, barely hits. So four D eight, which I actually don't have enough of, but that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Touch AC isn't using star binder. Touch attacks should go Ooh, target EAC. Uh, eight, seven, and five. That's uh, twenty. <laughs> twenty six points of damage. Whoa. Um, and you would be confused for six rounds. Holy Ooh. shit. Um, but, and that's the one where you have to like roll on a table, right? Confusion? I have to check that. Yeah, I think there's like um, some kind of But you can make a fortitude save for half damage and to negate 
confusion. Now well, that's technically Fortitude save, eh? Okay, what's the DC on the Fortitude save? Uh, my spell save... They just oh, eyed so at that. Cool. Was it? This is very cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Is it a second level spell? Yeah. Ooh. Um, where is my spell save? Okay. Spell, spell. Yeah. It's okay, we can wait. I guess don't. Do, do, do. Do you, hey, wanna, join the you just want to search real quick? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, for your, you're looking for the spell. Well, my spell save is, yeah. Spell save. Oh, for Anabas? Spell. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I should have had that ready. Oh, I don't know how to look that up super fast. Um, well, just pick just a number. Technomancer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so oh, it's probably, it's probably 13 plus my caster level? Or yeah. 10 plus caster level? I don't know, you're the uh, GM. I know, right? I should know these things. Um, no, you make it up. Uh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold, on. I I have just, the I hold on, I have the official. Okay, we're going to get there, guys. Here. Don't worry, we got this. Um, Supercharge, no. This is the part of the stream where you look stuff up. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Everybody's it's looking not, desperately. It's not a game unless you do this. <laughs> uh, I found it. Uh, okay. Found it. Nope, I didn't. Damn. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, no, we can do this. Uh, what's the spell you cast again? It's like nanobots. Uh, inject nanobots. Okay, inject nanobots. Let's uh, name each nanobot while we wait, audience. Casting Ned. time, duration. Yeah, it is one. <laughs> Ned, one thing that's Gar. a great name. <laughs> There's a few named Gar. Great, one's Wolf. This is, this, is a, this is a good Gar -gar. Gar -gar thing to have right. handy. Yeah, I should. Saving throw, fortitude partial and will partial. Wait, no, that doesn't help. <laughs> that's not helpful. Right, well, we I need to figure out what the target. Well, Did hold on, let me just roll this. Yeah. And if it's like super low, okay. then we yeah. won't worry about it. It was super low. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. You're like, look, so whatever effect, it is, it's not I have not the effect bad. of confusion. Yeah. Uh, so it's so, it's it's less than ten. So it's probably going to be at least so, DC ten plus twenty six points level, of damage. So. I'll, I'll I'll know this for next one. This is the one I'm going to beat myself up over the most. Yeah, me too. Because that was like three minutes of dead air, and wait, I'm going to go home. Uh, fortitude save or no? Sorry. It wasn't three minutes of dead air. We came up with, I'm sure, a lot of great names in chat. Uh, <laughs> and then, um, do you want me to roll the percentile? For your confusion, uh, I, have the, I have the chart here. You have the chart, yeah. yeah. I, I, oh, I have the chart, but then I changed my page. Let's just so. name them. Oh uh, yeah, go ahead and roll that. Okay, uh, ninety-six. Ninety-six. Uh, you attack the, oh. attack the nearest okay. creature. Attack the nearest creature. Okay. All right. Well, I will Sugar. flip a coin between between the two of you. <laughs> oh, how much? Sorry, how much damage did you do to him? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Oh, jeez, man. Come on. Yeah. He. That. Oh that, no. That's not until you're around. So this oh, doesn't okay. count for now. You okay. are you oh, the confusion? confusion on your attack, so not now. You okay. could die before then. I'll, but you are confused for six rounds. I'll allow it. <laughs> well, okay. That's what it says here. I know. I'm just, <laughs> uh, that bleach. makes sense. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, so yeah, the the you inject you inject magical nanobots, and my God, it is a fertile ground for them. Uh, there's <laughs> all sorts of just delicious things to nibble on, and and and. He is, he's like it's that it's that thing where like it's that thing where like um, <laughs> the little bumps are moving underneath his skin. Oh, I love that stuff. That's nice. Uh, 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 it's like in the mummy. Mummy, when, yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like he's got scarabs under his skin, and he's clawing at his face. Wait, he's oh, like, I gotta, I gotta open it up for this. Uh, and 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 he's turning around, and he's Frankensteining, Go, and and you see a bot, you know. Pew, it's oh, it's it's awful. It is an awful thing to watch. It is necromancy. Uh, yeah, is it really? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's nasty, dude. Um, okay, so uh, now now we go back to the top of the round. Yes. Up, Mira. Oh, beautiful. Um, okay. Uh, oh, there you are, Twill. I was gonna ask if you needed me to like hold this one off for you. I could see William flailing all over there and you know the back <laughs> charging, but. Thought I lost you for a second. Left the crew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and then I turn my attention back to this one, and I'm going to charge and solar weapon him. All right. Because they just tried to attack me. Um, are you Did one of the ones that can only say guard too? Guard. Yes, you are. All right. <laughs> the difficulty charge. class for. A saving throw gets your spells 10 plus spell levels plus your intelligence modifier. Oh, yeah. Ah. You wouldn't even do that. All right. Yeah. Jordan found it. I would, I would, there's, is there a way to celebrate uh, players when they do something really nice, like give them resolve points or something like that? No. No? Uh, I mean, you can just give them <laughs> a, a high five or a hug or whatever. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. I'll take praise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't Jordan just support. the best? Okay. Um, well, 
for my solar <laughs> weapon, I rolled a 29 to hit. Good God. Um, so I wow. hit, I'm guessing. Yeah, that, uh, that absolutely uh, is going to hit. Love it. Let's um, see how much damage you do. I'm going to guess not much. Um, this is Emperor Riptide. He's the leader of the crew. Oh, this is Emperor Riptide. I'm boop. coming for you, my friend. Um, okay, so with these, uh, whatchamacallit? Um, because I just uh, charged as well towards them. Stellar Rush, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, this is what I'm... I need to look at that Stellar Rush roll, because can you rush Can you rush at somebody who you're already engaged in with melee combat? You can't do a charge unless you're t- at least 10 feet away from someone. That's what I thought. Then I'm not going to do that. But you um, could just have a regular... I guess I could just kill them regularly, yes. You know what you could regularly. do? Yes. You could do a full attack. Yeah. That you can do. Yeah. Right, so you I'll, attack I'll, twice with minus four to each attack. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that first one, yeah. I'm going to lo- allow you to make that your first full attack. Okay, great. Let's do that. And uh, So, so um, I still so roll... Yeah, you would roll damage yeah. for that. Yeah, great. I'm but gonna... you don't add your stellar rush damage. This is just Beautiful. regular damage. Yeah, that works. Um, so just rolling the 2d6 plus 10. So that's um, 16 damage on that. Plus two because you just plus... went towards photon yep. two men. Yep. Oh, I'm... boy. 16? Yeah. So 18. 18. 18. <laughs> okay. All right, no, that's fine. Uh, uh, Emperor Riptide, uh, <laughs> he, he looks a little sad, but determined. Really, that's it? Uh, yeah, well, you get another <laughs> attack, though. You can finish him yeah, off. Yeah, right no, I'm going to finish him off. Show me show uh, me how it's done. You know, I'm like, I'm, but if he like, looks kind of sad, but like, not that hurt, I'm like kind of impressed. I was like a formidable enemy. No, he's um, he, he is, man. He's Emperor Riptide. Great. He's um, a legend around these parts. Yeah, well, 26 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on your second attack? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, he was a legend. Finish off Emperor Riptide. Yeah, I'm going to Give him the proud death that he deserves. Uh, well, Lucky son of a... Gar-gar. You need to roll more than 14. <laughs> Gargar Binks? Just roll higher than 14. God. I think you can do it. Uh, uh, Gargar Binks is clearly over here. Yeah. <laughs> Gargar Binks. Uh, I do roll higher than 14. Oh, I roll dear. roll a, a 17. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Plus Emperor... two, do I plus two for that one as well? Or no? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's 19. Damage. So, yeah, you do, you do your full attack... Uh, uh, the first one uh, uh, cuts him off of the legs and Beautiful. he kind of sinks and then the second one the head goes flying and he no, melts I into wanna, a wanna. little oh <laughs> you want to you, oh I see you want to sink your blade down his neck oh yes let's okay. do that let's just like slice him right in half yeah and okay so yeah you do that you raise yeah. the blade and because because he's he's now uh, on on his his stumps looking out at you and it just kind of goes between his eyes Beautiful. and he says go <laughs> Chef's kiss. And he, says, and, he, and he hisses with steam as as he just kind of collapses into a puddle of goo. Welcome it's like the, the moment where your eyes meet and he's like, do it! Except it's God! <laughs> God! God, God! God, welcome to the great cycle. <laughs> just got me! Damn! He got into, into the ground! God! He got into the ground! God! All right, and yep, that's that is what happens there. So we are, yeah, we are <laughs> running, we are running low on bad guys here. Oh that's no, right. that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, uh, but next up is Nobaba Beck. Don't go attack! Ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> Why am I rolling so Wrong. bad? <laughs> son of a prunk. That's a three. It's a three. Uh, and that's going to be plus, what, nine? Plus nine. Would you like a table reroll? <laughs> yeah, yeah, one. Okay, I'll use one <laughs> okay. table reroll. We um, need to have our we heroes succeeding. I just want to roll a good roll. Oh, oh it's even worse! <laughs> Crit fail. Needs to reevaluate. Crit fail. His situation right, in out. life. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go on without me. <laughs> you will be missed. Oh man, this was uh, and this was against Innocent Brown Co. too. Oh. It was just like it, he's not even. He's just kind of standing there, like like Little Mac uh, when he turns purple. <laughs> you guys are like sword fighting with chopsticks at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going easy on him because I feel like upset you by how annoying he's. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm making this easy for you. He feels upset with himself, too. Easy for you. <sighs> yeah, so Captain Will. It's a fitness side of the table. No. Okay. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> Stupid. Forget this Gone. shit. Gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, attune one more time. So, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be your move action uh, is the, going to be to clear. To Oh, to clear the thing? Uh, yes. I'm just going to throw it in there, not cleared then. Okay. Would it be swift action to resheath it without? Uh, well, yeah, you have a, uh, a. I can just keep it in my hand too. It's not really that big deal. Okay. 
Uh, you have something else in mind? Yes. Okay. Uh, guns something don't work. Super. In mind. How gun? I don't know. Yeah. How <laughs> gun? Not fun. You gun. Know, gun. Gun. Uh, okay, How so are bullet form? Car. <laughs> so we're doing. Uh-huh. We're gonna do a nice little run over here. Forty. So I'm gonna slide in and go. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Upward supernova. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Upward supernova in supernova the sky. Time. Okay, yeah. uh, give me your damage roll. <laughs> I think Mira is like secretly very proud of you every time you use supernova. <laughs> is that just that little bit? Yeah. Like you're doing it wrong. It's a, a, a but little, like it doesn't matter because like you're, you're, yeah, it's it's like ah yes, embrace that Solarian self. Uh, now Castles and Chemo has not been hit yet, because like I said, tactics. Well, now. 11. 11. Mm. Okay. And what's the DC? It is a reflex save. Reflex save? Or DC 13, sorry. DC 13, okay. So he rolls a 1, so he does not get that. Oh, hey. So you do 11 points of damage. Mm. Nice. I like that. That's, That's the okay. most damage you've done so far. I Well, okay. Cumulatively, I did what? Like 4 and then 6, so I was okay. very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My uh, favorite GM. It's, I, just <laughs> your eye mark. I, I prefer to think of it as I doubled my damage on this turn. Very good. That, that's very good. I'm proud of you, man. Positive spin. Okay, so 40... Uh, oh, sorry. Oops. You didn't hear that. Oh. I'm yes, not going to tell you. Hit, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, 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 math, yeah. math, 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 math. Um, oh, but you know what? Uh, so, so yes, uh, uh, the, the, the heat boils up and washes over Castles and Chemo, and you can see uh, uh, his body sizzling and vibrating. Uh, okay. But he looks to be okay. Um, and he sees you kind of uh, slide in there, and we're just going to say that that's an effect. I'm not going to say you're actually prone, because I would get uh, an adma- or a bonus to attack here. Right. But uh, either way, uh, uh, he uh, steps forward. His hands turn into daggers. Uh, and then daggers, then hands come up and grip the daggers, and they turn back into daggers again, and he's still got hands. And then he slashes down at you. Whoa. You can well, try. <laughs> okay. Uh, for tw- he hits a 22. He wishes. Oh, ah, <laughs> no. Nice. That's so, yeah, he goes, armor again. bing, bing, yeah. bing, bing, bing. Arr! The Solarian side's really working. The operative side's really not working as yeah. well as the Solarian side today. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, that's that's it, that is accurate. Um, we are gonna do greens as tens. Dan, do you have that chart up still? Yes. Okay. He lied, but we can get it. <laughs> I had it. I had it. No, I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay. I'm just I'm just flipping through a thousand pages. Don't okay. worry. If I get there first. first. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got okay. It. I got it at the same time you did. So, uh, <laughs> sixteen. That it? Uh, you act normally. Act normally, ah, 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 ah. Okay, innocent brown coat, uh, with his skin bubbling with insane nanobots, uh, uh, tries to wash them out of his body, tries to form little bits. Occasionally, you know, little spots are dripping off of him. Uh, and so he manages to get control of his senses, uh, and uh, he reaches forward, and he's just gonna, he's just gonna T-1000 uh, you, Twill. Please don't. Skew. Does, I imagine a 14 does not hit. It does not! All right, so, hey, yeah, he kind of goes, I withstood! Oh. Ting! I could've, you're a new tank. <sighs> I could've given him plus two AC. Oh, with your bodyguard? bodyguard oh. feet. You still can, I just if you took, want. But no, I, <laughs> why would I do that? It hurts my AC. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, that was, oh wait, is that, no, noodle arms, noodle arms. It's time for redemption. Uh, yeah, like I said, he's he is he is oh, uh, lavender Mac redemption. right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's I love the side. Oh, uh, no. Uh, it, 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 it just like not even bothering to form weapons, just sort of like uh, appendages that have sharpness to them. Sure. Swings forth. <gasps> Twenty-eight. That'll do it. Ah, he rakes. He he, he grabs onto your armor pleadingly, and and and. A little seam goes into your I'm body. I'm like, oh, fine, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> For 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage? You know, yeah. If you try not to you get at, hit, buddy? you really take a page um, out of I am at six stamina and 48 hit points. Oh, okay. almost, almost, hit points. Points. almost down to hit points. Almost to hit points. <laughs> Will that be the first time? Yeah, I've never been to hit points. Yeah, they've only they're been hit like three. Season two, man. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, that gets a hit point. Dangerous <laughs> ramped up. 
The danger uh, was real. And then, uh, so, so some red shirt was, that was against you. Oh no, that was Castles and Chemo. Who's some red shirt? That's Castles and Chemo. That's... Oh yeah, okay. brown coat. That's some red shirt. Okay, yeah. All right, no, we Jar- got it. Uh, yeah, cool. So that is that is the entirety of the squad. Great. The the, the Muckman still squad. Alive ones. So yes, uh, Twill, it is your turn to act. Okay. Uh, since this guy's up here, if I move away, will he get an opportunity to attack? Uh, yes. Okay. Then I'm going to take a guard step back, which okay. does not provoke, and I'm going to shoot him with my pistol. Okay. Pistol. You flip back, spin the pistol, pistol out. I still had it out. Oh, you had it out. Okay. Yeah, I never put it didn't, away. Didn't even need to put it away. Yeah. I just kind of did one of these things. That's not great. Ding. Uh, twelve against EAC. That's twelve a, against EAC a is a miss. Yep, that's my. Uh, turn. yeah, it, he's he's not impressed. I should really stick to magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, magic seems to work for you, uh, Mira. Okay, it's your turn. Uh, so, it's show turn. Uh. Oh wait, no. I'm, Emperor Riptide is dead. Yeah. He, He's, He's super, super dead. dead. <laughs> super dead. Super dead. Come on, fall, fall over. You, so I like look around. I see William <laughs> there with them. I see, you know, involved. But I feel like everyone's got a little bit of a handle on the situation. I would like to attune as well. Okay. Um, I would like to move. I honestly think William is going to fail, but I'd like to give let him have his shot. Um, <laughs> uh, so I would I would like to just like approach to stand in cover behind this item right here. But I would also like to just do a general perception check of the area that we're in to see if there's anything we've missed. Any like I want I want to see like, <coughs> doorways. Any like there, okay. I don't know anything important that like could be like oh look there's a giant ruin right there. So, um, yeah, you um, you glance around the room and you don't need to roll uh, perception on okay. this. You you can just see. Um, yeah, it's it, it it's it's a room. The water yeah. looks weird. Yeah, okay, then I want to go towards that water. Can I? Can I? <laughs> Take a, can I do like a double action? Like, is double it move. A double move? A double move, uh, yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then let's do that. I okay. would like to move towards that water. And you gotta, you're just it. gonna, you know, leave your leave your fellow comrades in combat and you, yeah, and, and you go and look at We're used to it. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, y'all have a handle on this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah let me go check out that water okay. over there. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, you're just gonna do some, good can I, some quick investigation. Yeah, can I? Can I mean, I you've killed that? two people already. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I don't know how much they can. Out. Yeah. Uh, if, if you can't do this yourself, kinda, then I, you don't deserve me. I, I need the dignity of doing this. I also yeah. understand that. <laughs> um, um, I'm moving also right into your eye line. Like, I see this fuck mm-hmm. here. So, yeah. Crunk up. <laughs> at this point, though, I'm less self conscious. Mira, yeah. Um, you, you see Mira's eyes light up at the water uh, in, the, in, in the corner of your. Okay. Corner of your vision. <laughs> she goes over the ooh water. I love um, water too. So yeah, uh, you go over and can I roll to investigate? Or um, can I make that part? Yeah, you, know, you mean like yeah. science or uh, even a mysticism? I think I do have a mysticism. Work. Okay, give, yeah. me, give me a mysticism, and then I'll tell you the magical properties potentially. Um, that is actually pretty good. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here's what I can tell you. Um, your wrist bangle starts to go a little bit crazy. Uh, does it? Does it just like vibrate? Does it hurt? Yeah, does it, it starts up? to glow and it starts to warm up. It doesn't hurt. This okay. is never gonna hurt you. Okay. But it, it like, it, it is excited. And, and I okay, I, I, that's I was gonna. You're able to kind of my hand in the water. But uh, this is uh, now. Now uh, I just realized I've given you a s- standard action when you yeah. used a double move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but Sorry. you know it's late. We're gonna. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we've got a lot of story to tell here. So um, yeah, uh, the um, uh, you you kind of you kind of dip your water and you feel that drift essence, huh. that tentacly. Uh, sort of mm-hmm. drift essence kind of flowing <laughs> through your fingers and you go, that's weird. So how similar, just out of curiosity, is that feeling to like what like Solarians feel as well with like... Different, very different. Very it's, different. it's more like okay. an extra planar sort of... Uh, um, you know, the the Solarian is, you know, you're, it, it's energy based. It's from the sun. Uh, Extra planar stuff is just weird, like transdimensional. Great. Gold okay. Gook. Cool. Okay. Um, so, like, so. I can distinctly tell that this is something weird. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got a pretty I just splash around. Feel to it. Next turn. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see Mira go splashing about in the water. It's good. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm just enjoying it. Like I'm getting to know this force. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, great. So that is Mira's turn. Beck. 
Beck, 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 Beck. What to do with Beck's turn? Yeah, <laughs> this is this no is the question. No rerolls. <laughs> I mean, this is. I don't need rerolls. I'm just gonna roll well for once. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna doshko that son of a. You got this, Prong. mother. I know this is happening. Son of a gar. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's my oh, second no. natural one in a row. That's two net ones. This is what happens when you sit next to William Dean. <laughs> ha. I, I'm wild. I'm actually confused as to yeah as to what is happening. Uh, All right, well that's Beck. <laughs> <laughs> Beck's turn over. All right, yeah. Uh, Beck, I mean, Nabal Beck, are I, you okay? I'm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really good at this. <laughs> some, yeah, some red shirt kind of it doesn't yeah. even really notice. I mean, he's just sort of dazed. And he's still reeling. He's from the saving Private trip. Ryan. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he picks up he picks up his arm. And like, <laughs> okay, I need this. I just Green rolled that die <laughs> again. Yeah. He's got a third one. Wow. Just wow. to test. Take this. Take Throw this that die in the garbage. <laughs> don't give it any more. I, I don't know. I think I got to stick with the die I came with, but yeah. I'm gonna be upset <laughs> okay. about it. It's just right. of you. Uh, will. All right. So at this point, I'm not I'm not as self conscious. I was feeling like really weird about where I was. Yeah, yeah. But once you blow up and you supernova and you burn a dude. Mm -hmm. I'm just like I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm it's business time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so after it's sliding, blowing up, time. he swings. It's like <laughs> crystals yeah. out, and I'm clink, like, clink. I'm gonna clear the pipe. Okay. And I'm gonna use that as my sleight of hand, where I'm gonna, I, as I'm standing up, clear the pipe, catch the bullet before it hits the ground, and then shoot him in the. In cool. The All right, give me your trick nice. All right. Surprise. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that might work. There's a chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's gonna be 24. Oh no! You <sighs> just missed it, my friend. You, you catch wish. the bullet, but it's hot. You go, ah! I what did you What did you roll, by the way? I rolled an 8. Oh man, dude, you're just not rolling well. No, I mean, I you can do this. Above, I can't even give above a 10. No, that's you could do this. I'm this side of the table is not having great rolling. <laughs> <laughs> not great, not great. Uh, I, it was still a cool move. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I feel okay about it. <laughs> oh, Will! Captain what Will! What is this? So what is going Ill. on? All right, that's gonna be a uh, team respectable thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> respectable thirteen is a respectable miss. Making it explode. Castles and chemo, and, as and he is a cultured man, gives you the respect that you uh, have earned. Okay. But it's. Yeah. I'm not afraid of this guy. I'm still. It's still business time. Okay. <laughs> it's still <laughs> business time. In a tune once. I believe you, because he's coming at you. Okay, good. And he's got. I hope he does. He drops his old blades and reforms new blades. Why? These are the ones. <laughs> Sharper. These are the ones that are going to do the job. His old ones are. And I'm going to roll this yellow die. Where is this mask coming? You know from? what? <laughs> no, you're getting the red die, my friend. It's true. Oh. It should lose hit points every time it uses its body. You'd think so. I, but there's I some mystical so. force <laughs> at use. No. Uh, sure there's a 25 in your KAC. Just barely. Ka Okay. Car? Say car? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's different. Uh, for 15 points of damage. I'm rolling average damage tonight. He's going to be very sad when he makes very me average. actually angry. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, he, he manages to catch you uh, on the chin, and uh, it, it cuts, away, uh, cuts away a little hunk of flesh. You said 15? Yeah, 15. Okay. You come, you put your hand up, it comes away bloody. <laughs> Says castles and chemo. Uh, next up to bat is the innocent brown coat. Uh, innocent brown coat is confused, so let's see what he does this round. So, damn. I'm getting the thing. No, it's all right, I have it here. Now I got it. Uh, 16 again, acts normally. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so yeah, he's going to, what, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? Um, <coughs> let's press, you know what? Let's, let's, let's finish off this lizard who, uh, must be nearly dead by this point. Um, uh, so yeah, he, the dream. <laughs> he's going to, uh, 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 form a, uh, a, a, a poking stick and he's going to poke you with it very hard. Okay. He hits a 23. 23 will hit. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. It pokes you. Ooh, it's almost very good. Uh, uh, what is that? Plus six. Uh, wait. You're yeah. going to make it a hit point? It's going to put me to hit points. Um, it's plus six. Uh, 17. 
17, oh, yeah. that puts me oh, to hit God. point. Yeah, Muck so his poking him. stick uh, uh, finds that little spot between your helmet and uh, your armor, and uh, it, it, it punctures the sort of light, the light seal there, and it manages to worm its way through, and it, yeah, it digs through, and it crushes your collarbone. Dang. You feel real blood happening. I'm pretty well, into it, this. It doesn't crush it. It's like, all right, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it, you can feel you, it's weird. You've got a blade inside of you, and it's just doing this. Oof! It gives Sucks, you no man. respect. No yeah. respect. No, no. <laughs> this is all part of the process. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 uh, uh, some red shirt has has, has still got you. Uh, his his fingers have fallen off uh, inside of you. But gross. He's gonna, uh, <laughs> he's gonna form new fingers and he's gonna try to try to dig in uh, through your chest and maybe crush your heart. So all right, okay. Um, uh, but he does not do that because <laughs> he, he's very weak. He needed those fingers. And so he goes and all noodle armed again, and then it's sad. Turns out time. he needed them. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that, this was a mistake. Um, and that <laughs> is all the muck men. We are back to Twill. Okay. How's uh, innocent? Man's. How's innocent uh, brown coat? Looking? Innocent brown coat is very, very, very injured. Very injured. Okay. Uh, a, a stiff breeze may knock him out at this point. Wait, I'm sorry. Which one's innocent brown coat? The high up. He's one. a dude standing Got up it. on a boulder. Yeah, and then some red shirts brave. down on the ground who I, keeps you know, twiddling at me. Yes. I, I just don't want to risk it, so I'm going to fire a magic missile at yeah. brown coat. Oh, nice. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points of magical. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Magical. Um, magical. So there's nice. there's there's magical. three shots. No, no, I got 4, 4, and 1. There's three missiles that fire out, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, eyeball, eyeball, heart. And uh, he falls over backwards and lands on his back and then melts all over the boulder. And I paints say, it brown. I, I I look where the body was and I go, muck you. Wow. Yeah. Are we okay, Paizo? Are we all right with I that? I said muck. <laughs> no, it's a Pokemon. I believe it. It's allowed. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. Muck, muck is. Definitely a Pokemon. Counts. <laughs> <laughs> and Innocent Brown Coat is no more. Oh. You were an inspiration, Innocent Brown Coat. Uh, two, two lefts. Two lefts. How many spell slots I'm burning on this? Okay, Mira, the water is interesting. <laughs> the water is interesting. I'm going to drink some. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> two characters are dying tonight. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a little sip. Not a lot, just a little sip. My notes are on the first page here. I think Interesting. There was, there was a table. I don't know, like, I think that she feels that's like a weird force. She's like, this is weird. Is this new Solarian energy? Like, I want to, like, understand it and, like... Sure, I get, I get that. I find something, I'm like, oh, this is strange. It's got an otherworldly feeling. I pop it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, 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 uh... Yeah, just like a little sip. Just you're you're kind of, you're kind of trailing Twelve. your finger in there and you're like, you know, it'll be awesome. <laughs> you get down there. Twill sees it and goes, wait, we have science! <laughs> <laughs> um, you 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 yeah. you take with with, with yeah. a, a trembling gore covered hand. Well, you, you, you wipe it off. I first. wipe it off. Hey, you don't, you don't <laughs> want to get the water dirty because um, uh, you've been sprayed pretty heavily yeah. with quite a bit of blood and whatnot. Uh, you, you take a sip, and um, it's delicious. Really? Yeah. What's it taste like? Um, it tastes like. Antifreeze. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hint of antifreeze. Uh, the, the, like, like uh, the, sort of the sense that you were smelling when you were in the drift. You kind of, you kind of get those sort of a, uh, like a, a nice mushroomy sort of finish, and it just sort of tickles the throat. You're like, yeah. Huh. And 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 you realize you're not thirsty anymore. Like just not at anymore. all. Okay. Like you you had worked up a pretty good sweat, and you're like, I feel great. I'm great. Everything's okay. fine. This is interesting. And how many stamina points does she get back? Yeah. <laughs> you don't get any stamina points. Okay, right. well, you feel. Oh, I feel good. This is great. This is good. Huh. Um, huh. Do I do it? Hey, we should bottle this. Yeah. Is I mean, what you're thinking. Yeah, that's, that is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, does that feel... Okay, when, when you So that's going to be your... Yeah, yeah that's going to be your standard action, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah. Can I just... Can I move? Yeah, you can. Can I move to this corner? Uh, because essentially, in the next turn, I'd like to see what's like where you, the river leads to. So, you, uh, so you've already okay. used your standard action, so you get Tol thirty so, feet. So it's going to be okay. each one of those is five feet. Yeah. So just kind of 
uh, uh, tap out six. So it'll go one, mm-hmm. two, three, four, five, six. six. Great. Let me just, I look off into the horizon and be like, this water's pretty cool. As <laughs> battle rages next to <laughs> I like the ears having this peaceful moment of like, Horizon, <laughs> drink from a stream. <laughs> and we're like, ah! Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> wow, it's in my neck! Comrade is dying. <laughs> Beck has got a, a spear <laughs> through his chest. This is kind of your happy place, though. Right? It's yeah. great. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm not thirsty. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, anyway. It's so yeah. weird. Next. All right. <laughs> Next up. Next up is Beck. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah. No! Come on. Gar! That rolled around That's- a lot. Better. That's gonna do it. Okay, so that's a seventeen plus nine. Oh. Seventeen no, plus nine. Twenty-six. Twenty-six hits so well. Yeah. So awesome. You that's punch it on the so is correct. Okay, so uh, this is against which now? This is against some red shirt. Some body wants. Let's go there too. One d twelve plus eight. Okay. Oh, song is ever Okay, so that is a 13. 13 points. Uh, he is looking he is looking about how innocent brown coat was looking last turn. All right. Uh, yeah, very <laughs> very very pale. Very, you know, he's he, his stuff is just dripping off now. Okay. And he's not even trying. Well, here's their chance to kill me before. <laughs> <laughs> right. Before, but Will's going to obviously step up to the plate. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, assumably. <laughs> no, actually, this time, I keep saying that, but one time it's going to be true. So I have the, the shell that I caught in this hand. Yeah, yeah. So as my a trick attack, I'm going to just whip it at his face real fast and then try to shoot him again. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> wow. And, and then maybe shoot through the shell. And then you get a double shot. Oh, that would be sick! Like, yeah, just okay. funsies. Through. Give me your, give me your turn. And, and for God's sake, roll double digits, man. I, I mean, this is embarrassing. That. I would be love to roll double just digits. Like, it looks cool. I'm like, I slid in, exploded. I know. Just do it. The you have the, these I, 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 amazing I like, descriptions. Yeah. I put my heart to it, and I rolled a seventeen. Can I use your, can I use your rolly area? Yeah, I that was the thing. Is, is, this, is, this is the table's rolly. I was it, using the wild turf. Uh, this is this is just the saving throw rolling thing. Hey, all right, so. As yeah, a trick attack, better. that's going to be uh, uh, oh, 30, mm, yeah. 32. <laughs> 32. You're like, okay. you don't have to tell me the second. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You said okay. 30. Just give me the 10s. Right, attack, attack. Uh, why did you do that? You know what? It's time, to, it's time to do it. I yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 We're cheating. We're cheating. I can't do this anymore. All right. We're Good resolving one last time. Season. Yes. We're, we are p- paying tribute to those who supported us for right. season one. 23. 23 is a monstrous hit. Yay! Give me that, give me that trick attack damage, Captain. Whew, so finally. Show me what you got. <laughs> All right, cool. Trick attack damage. Let's do it. Got a long trick trick. Got my new pistol, my new uh-huh. bullety type pistol. So I'm going to do my bullety pistol damage. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Oh, 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 All right. Man. <laughs> it's so bad. All right, so, so far it's a six. All right. Okay. Uh, possible 12. Six you, you, your max damage that you've done so far is 11, so yeah. we got six this. 6 plus. Okay, so this is 11. Good. Do you have any modifiers? <coughs> oh, uh, photon attunement. So 12! 12! Yay! Yay! Yeah. high score! We did it, boys! Yeah. And I've done more than that. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. Okay. Um, yeah, I still it, had to throw a bullet in his uh, face. Yeah. Like, I know, yeah. The, it looks it looks super dope and cinematic. Uh, but the actual damage done to him, while he can he definitely gars in mm-hmm. pain, yeah. but it's not, a, it's not a loud gar. It's not like the kind of gars that Mira was getting. Any gar is a gar I can work with. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, 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 and he's going to gar back at you. Good. At this point. He's going to gar bonzo you. He's going to gar knit laser brush down. Oh, here it comes. Aww. Here it comes. I'm feeling oh, that's what they've been trying to say. <gasps> This one he's gonna he's just gonna lean in and let the let the let the weight of his body do the work. Um, uh, it, a, a terrible idea because it, it doesn't it, it, mm-hmm. he like plinks against your armor and like oh I probably need to need yeah, more that's what velocity. It gets for not trying uh, <laughs> and that of course sounds like gar 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 gar. This guy's uh, not taking me seriously. It is a failure. Um, some red shirt. Mm, some red shirt. You know, we, we've we've piled on some red shirt enough, but um, I really hope he does well. No, <laughs> he rolled a nineteen. 
uh, or that, that is a 19, and it's not going to hit Nolava back. So, uh, some red shirt is just going to kind of hurrah, <sighs> just really uh, contemplate what choices he made that got him to this position. Mm-hmm. You know, why did he join this hunting party? Yeah. I don't know. What were they expecting? <laughs> they were certainly uh, going to just probably ambush. You know, a, 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 a deep one, just kind of you know, snack on him, get him off, but get him off this mortal coil. It's but supposed to be an easy score. Yeah, we're not expecting uh, this squad of monster killers. So, so some red shirt. Uh, it just, he's just going to kind of stand and contemplate. And we're going to go over. To <laughs> Fair Speaking enough. of, t- he's like, uh, no, no. Uh, this oh, is right? this yeah. is Twill first. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. God. I, uh, no. Why do you hate me? I, I was pointing in this direction because I always think they come at the end of the round. 19, 20, but you rolled so poorly in initiative. That, Thanks. Uh, some Richard's already gone through right. like three gonna, stages uh, of grief. With I'm going to take a shot at uh, Castles and Chemo. Uh, oh, uh, this is Jesse's dude. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Great. Do it. Do it. Beck's got the cover. No, Either I'll die or I'll not. <laughs> that, was, that one is dead right there. Either yeah. way, it's oh, like beautiful. a pretty yeah. okay situation. Yeah. Sorry, did I knock that? Did I not knock that? Oh, natural twenty! Oh yeah. my yeah. goodness! Oh. All right, this so, is gonna get some attention. Uh, it's going do. to be two d eight plus three, and the deafen uh, crit. Ooh. Okay. I, I pulled it out earlier. Nice. Uh, so, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points of damage. 12 points, and that was double damage, right, Ian? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's sonic damage. And you get the definite, well, you, you have to make a roll against it. It's DC 15. DC 15? Yeah. Uh, uh Fort? Uh, that would be my guess. Or it doesn't will. actually say. Uh, it, it, but he, he, he makes it with all of his saves, so. 15? Yeah, it's over a 15. Uh, okay, then, uh... You are not deafened then. Okay. But I shot you for a lot. So nanny nanny poo poo, stick your head and do it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the sonic waves uh, uh, the shudder him. Classic uh, bits come flying off. He, he, is, he is also looking very, very haggard uh, at this point. Haggard. Harry. Haggard. <laughs> He's looking haggard. You're a wizard. He's looking. Uh, you're a shooting. I you're did a not purpose. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a and now, I do now. look like I'm dressed to play uh, Quidditch for Ravenclaw in space. <laughs> yeah. That is true, yeah. I love it. I super, love it. super dope. Okay, uh, Mira. <laughs> I'm going to do something crazy. Please don't hate me if this backfires. I don't think it will, though. Um, I can't promise anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, with all four hands. She would like to scoop up some of this water, and she would like to walk to this dead guy, and she just wants to drop all the water on him. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, you've got four <laughs> massive handfuls of yeah. water. Um, yeah, this weird water that I'm just experimenting. Well, you guys are fighting. I'm curious to see what happens. Is, this is science in a way. Is bleeding. Oh, also, I want to attune him to three. Science-ish. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, uh, you, so you, to three. you walk over to Beck holding water well, like Beck, just some stick guy, the stick guy. Well, yeah, yeah, in Beck's general direction. Yes, Let's yes, hope yes. it doesn't bring them back. I know, <laughs> he's a Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, uh, and so, so two to three, I can supernova immediately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and and so like 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 a Renaissance painting with like water dripping from your hands. Uh, uh, you walk over to the rock. And you uh, pour and pour. It's it, it, honestly, it's really not that much water, okay, yeah. as it turns out, because um, it's just like That's a handful. That's great. So it, it only hard. comes back to like. A um, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, the the it, it sort of you know it's there's some moss in the rock and uh-huh. it, it washes a little bit of oh, the uh, remains of innocent brown coat and and, and it kind of <laughs> you know uh, it, it, you it, 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 it you create a little bit of mud. So, <laughs> You know? Right. Beck just turns you. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, does she have any more water in her hands, or she dumped it out? Drink no, this. you're gonna. No. You're gonna need to, gonna need to refill need that help? water. No. You okay, really then that? let me do my thing. You do your thing. I thought you were better at this. I'm confused at <laughs> what your thing is, and I thought I was better at this too. Because yeah, that has to be honorable for it to count. <laughs> All right, Beck. Show me. Yeah. Show me your thing. Oh, come on. Show come me on, what you got. Go. Do it again, Doshko. This is, this is the one. 17. Oh, okay, uh, that's, that's going to be well enough. Yes. Uh, you okay. Definitely hit. Let's do that D12 plus however much. Yeah, it's it's D12 plus 9. Okay. 
Well, the plus nine is going to be enough there. So. Hooray! It's a twelve. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. You. Uh, uh, so it, finally, it's just, it's just putting down a very sad, very sad person. Uh, and so you just you just kind of turn the blade sideways and sort of hammer him flat. I, I, I give him a moment. I'm like, you want to get one more try? C- no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you helped. And he he squinks down into non-existence mm-hmm. and sort of oozes uh, along the mossy bottom. And that is the death of some red shirt. No. Rest Aww. in peace, if, if, my friend. If he was sitting there contemplating, there's a chance he was Obi-Wan kenobi right? He's like, <laughs> if you strike me down, all I'm always going to be with you. Sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. He would be like, Gar. And I'd be like, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand you. Stop following me. Uh, I'm willing yeah. to take that risk. <laughs> Will Dean er, finish finish this? Finish him. Well, all right. Let's tune one Can't more time. Better Full blast again. Full blast? Yeah, it's been three turns. Hey, All right. let's blow them up. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> 11 plus, 11. does your photon attune- attunement work for supernova as extra damage? Yeah, I think so. It should, right? You have to be attuned to use it. Yeah. Okay, so twelve makes yeah. sense to me. Twelve. Okay. Uh, what is my uh, saving? Thirteen. Again? 13? Thirteen. Reflex. Oh, I rolled a one. Nice. Um, oh, so you take triple damage. I'm gonna melt this. Is one. that what that is? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, you uh, you 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 stand up. Uh, uh, flares spark and dance around you, and uh, you are sort of blinded by your own brilliance. And uh, when the uh, supernova recedes back in on you, uh, uh, Castles and Chemo is nowhere to be found. He has evaporated. <sighs> Maybe he got away in the water. It's hard to say. Mm. So, and yet you are covered in muck. <laughs> <laughs> and combat is over. Yay! Everyone drink this water. Yay! We did it. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and I think like that. <laughs> My friends, is a good time yeah. to end the stream tonight. Yeah. Woo! We did it! Oh my God, we did it! Holy we crap! It. Uh, thank you guys so oh, much for yay. joining us tonight. Thank you guys for all these subs. You were awesome. Paizo thanks you. I thank you. If I didn't get to your NPC tonight, we will be getting to him when we get to the city because there's lots of people in the city and they all have names. And we'll kill you next time. And we'll kill you <laughs> next time, but you're gonna have to watch and see yourself on stream. So yeah. thank you guys very much. Thank you. Um, join us tomorrow, well not us, uh, uh, on the official Paizo channel tomorrow we have Mr. Dan Tharp who, let's be real, one of the most charismatic men yeah. uh, in existence. He is going to be doing Starfinder Wednesday and that starts at 4 o'clock in the p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Pacific time. Yes, sorry, 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Thank you, Dan. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after that, oh no, I didn't write it down. Um, oh. Oh, pun, Pungent Crawl. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I think that's it, right? I like that name. Is that, yeah. is that Don, Donnie's dungeon? nodding. That sounds right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, after, directly after Starfinder Wednesday, we have Pungent Crawl, uh, which is a, another live play. Uh, they do Starfinder. It is Starfinder, right? Okay, God, sorry, I know, it's Dom late. Is also I, 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 that was the one thing I forgot to write down, is like my, and I, and I keep looking over there and it's all saving throw stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, speaking of, I'm just gonna do a little personal plug for saving throw. Uh, tomorrow night at eight o'clock, after Punch and Crawl is over, so you can still get over in time, uh, we have Iron Keep Chronicles coming back. <clears throat> it's back, baby! Woo! Mm. Woo! And it's iron keepier than ever. Yes, it's going to be keeping all the iron. Uh, so thank you guys again for the us. Thank you guys for the subs. Thank you for being awesome. We love you. We miss you. We're so happy to be back. So excited to be back. I feel Deep great. Good to be back. God darn, that was fun. Um, <laughs> so yeah, join us again next week, and we will have more of this wacky adventure. Uh, so until then. Yay. Bye. Good night. Bye, everybody. I love you. Later, guys. Deep water.